Hello, 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 everybody. <clears throat> How y'all doing today? All right, today we're playing as Muddy Rivers. We got some training to do, folks. We got training. Um, yesterday we played as Dallas Cobb in 1985. That was pretty fun. We got to buy a house or a trailer. And so I was, uh, earlier today I was decorating it. So, um, let me change the scenes real quick. Um, let's see. Let me fix it. Should be good to go, I think. Possibly. There we go. Alright, you should be able to see it here in a second. Yeah, so today we're going to be playing as Muddy Rivers. We're going to kind of uh, refine our clothes a little bit. And then we're going to clock on and go to the DOP. Um. And uh, get some training done so you can become an official uh, watchman. So there's good old muddy rivers. All right. So how is everybody's Wednesday afternoon? Where is Deacon? Probably going to be way the hell over there somewhere in the smoke. So what's been going on, chat? How's everything for you? Oh, he's crossing the river. I guess he spawned on the island way out there. <laughs> Let's get him some food. All right, boy. Let him drink some water. What? Drink. <laughs> I'm all mean to him. Come on, he can do anything, right? And he must have been thir thirsty. Look at that. Drinking the shit out of that water. Alright. Let's <clears throat> head into town. I mean, I don't mind the suit that they have us wearing, right? But I want to find me a better hat and a better coat. I don't like that coat. I, I, there's got to be other options of like blue jackets. Darn, there you go. 
Make sure I have my rope. Last time I forgot my rope. I already start I already want to start talking like Dallas and it's like oh, okay I'm not on Dallas remember yeah they're all muddy right now guy shit I already want to talk like this that's not the case gotta talk in my regular voice can y'all hear me okay volume good enough should be. Hmm. Yeah, why the hell is it so damn foggy? What is going on? Take a look at our telegrams here in Rhodes. Let's pick it up a notch. I just want to check my telegrams. I want to see how many people are in Rhodes at, on the other on the other hand. Can't change my clothes here. Oh, yeah. Jacobs. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Have you started the tr your training? Uh, first day on Friday. Today is my second. And Yes. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. How about yourself? Yeah, I can't, can't complain yet. <laughs> Seems all right. I started my first day on Friday. Today is my second, and yes. Did you have a good saw, night? but not at all. Muddy. Yeah, I don't have enough to do it. I want to, to, but like I said, I can't do supplies sold everything too much. Uh, John Reed. John Reed was his name. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember. Henry is sure. If I'm not in state, I might be on duty. Jessica. Have them check with me.
and I would be happy to fill the role. <coughs> that was on the 21st, what's today? 24th, oh god. Um. Run out supplies. Which means everything going good. Try to resupply yourself. assistance I will be around on Wednesdays and Fridays awesome. alright Howdy. Good night. Yeah, uh, are y'all busy? Or... Uh, I mean, a little bit, but uh, if you need something, we're happy to help. Oh, okay. Um, uh, let's see. I received a message, something about uh, John Reed needing some uh, food uh, for his horse and stuff like that. If he happens to be on clock, uh, like on duty today, just... Uh, tell him to telegram Muddy Rivers. I'll be in Cisco. I'm gonna go do some work on duty. Alrighty. Yep. Alright. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Would suggest sending a telegram to him. Though we'll uh we'll we'll do it on our pod, but you know it would. Okay. It would help. Sounds good. So I need to send him a telegram. I should have done it. I didn't even think about it. Oh, darn it. John Reed. Get that done. I should have done that, but I didn't. Yeah.
So we'll, we'll go to the telegram station. We'll send the telegram out. Um, then we'll go fix our uh, suits. And then, um, not suits, but the suit. And then uh, we'll check our telegrams. Hopefully by then he, he had respond. If he hasn't responded, I'm just gonna just go to work. You know, he might not be on around these hours. You know, probably wakes up in the earlier hours, and that's quite all right. We'll eventually meet up. Oops, I was supposed to slow down a long time ago and I kind of forgot. I guess that's the GTA that I was playing <laughs> GTA just all that ass everywhere. Oops. Alright. Let's send him a the telegram. Howdy. Send telegram, John I will be willing to oblige. Around. Oh. Wednesdays and Fridays. So, I mean, Jessica is a deal. Hi, hi. Hello. What the hell's yours? I am William Kell. Hi, William Kell. Ask, ask cousin Mote. Hi. Cousin Mote. Hello. That's Mote. All right, let's go fix our clothing. Ready? 
Bay. Department of Prisons. Muddy River's at your disposal. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. Horses around. Wow. Hmm. Get over here so I can see a little bit better. Put the suit on, that would help. Let's see, let's brush this up. Damn, mm. the hat is terrible. Definitely not muddy. That is not muddy at all. No. Wait a minute. I don't like that. What's that? Five, 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 five. Okay, three fives. Let's see what else they got. No. 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 Definitely not. Nope. Okay, now it's getting ridiculous. Can I wear that? Am I allowed to wear that? No, it's got to be a professional hat, right? Hard to see the color. Uh oh, now we're getting into the crazy hats. Right. No, let's go back to the beginning. Oh, that definitely isn't it. I mean, that's muddy right there, but. Definitely something he doesn't want to wear. I mean, that's all right. Then there's this one. That doesn't look too bad, I guess. I want to make sure that's black. Okay. That is black. All right. Let's fix this coat. Let's see what else they got. Bound to have something 
But would that be considered blue, right? It's more black than blue. There's a blue one. That's what that other guy was wearing. I don't want to copy his thing. I want Muddy to stand out on his own. Now that is Muddy. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. I think I like this. So we're going to update this. There. Oh, yeah. I take off the coat and stuff. I don't want people to think that I'm... suspenders right yeah off duty je vous salue je salue bonjour bon appétit Make a quick trip with the sheriff or yeah, the sheriff's office. Is locked. Yeah, okay. All I can do is go check my telegrams. Right. No, it is locked. I don't know. So let's um let's put Deacon in the stable, but before we do and get the items. Alright, need my canteen. Got my rope this time.
Where is he running off to? Play some music. Oh yeah, going on duty. I do need some hay at the moment. If you're available, maybe we can meet together to get some. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I was fixing to go to work, but I guess the play needs some hay. I think I might want to rearrange these. This is definitely, <coughs> definitely a three. Or I can do that. Oh, that'll be better. It's 
that brown? I can't see shit. Is the hat black or brown? Looks black to me, right? Hopefully I didn't pick that blue one. I hope it's not that blue one. There's a blue one. There's a hat that's blue. Looks black, but it's actually like a dark blue. I hope I didn't pick that one. I mean, it looks black, though. I don't see any blue. I'll give him a few minutes to show up. <laughs> Let's see, we stand on this light. I'm pretty sure I don't think it's the blue one. Looks black. I have to wait till daytime. He looks like an asshole. Egan, Oregon, Oregon, hey, Oregon. I will. Pleasure to meet you. How long has it been? These old eyes to set upon your face. Oh, hey, Muddy, long time no see. Yes, my apprentice. I'll be for thee. I'll be for me. Your employer. Not one knee. Both knees. No, I'm just kidding. Let's see. Is he coming? Guess I'll make my way now. Okay, he's coming. So, for a bit? A little bit? Leave it, leave it. Uh. 
der Siebe. Oder wird? Der ist die Siebe. Oder der Siebe. Oder der Siebe. Oder der Siebe. Da. Plessiva. Do I have water? Oh, look at this. I've got an empty slot there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have sixty percent water. Go out. I got a piece of hay hanging from my mouth. Here, I'll just give you this. <laughs> it is getting kind of chilly. Oh no, I really do look like a DOP. It is fine. The hat doesn't look blue so far. Hey, mister. Howdy. How you doing? Doing pretty good? How do you do? Yes, Lord, yes. That's the word. Yes, Lord, yes. Is it Awagan or Aragon? It's A O G A N, so Argon. Awagan. Agan. Agan, right? Agan. It just spells it differently. Some carpet bag and fancy mouth. Bamboozled. Bamboozled. Didn't realize that was a word back in 1901. Just got bamboozled. Damn. I need to practice my lineups. People are forgetting there's like a big, huge gap that you have to like. Stand at a certain. There we go. Practice that real quick. Yeah. Hagen, what's going on, man? Give me five down low. Five. Low.
There he is. Oh, hello. Alright, uh, can you give me a lift back to the, the stable here in St. Denis so I can get you the hay? Yeah, of course. Uh, how much are you going to need? You want me to, Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what. How much was uh, John Reed asking for? I mean, he was asking for a lot. I mean, he didn't give me a specific number, but what he was saying was he was looking for something in the hundreds, so that's why he was sending them off to here, you know, to you, because... Okay. Um, yeah, he was, he was saying he was looking to spend hundreds and to get hundreds because he wants to supply, you know, and all the deputies and state and things like that. Yeah, I gave him a proposition about that a long time ago and he never, you know, he never acted on it. So, shit, yeah. I think I got yeah. about 200 and something hay. I don't know, I have to look. I have to look. Yeah, I, I mean, I would just probably send him an offer and just say like, hey, I have, you know, 200 or something like that of everything that I'm willing to part with and I mean because uh, okay. he was he seemed like he was looking to spend a lot of money on it. Okay. I'll let you know how much I have. Uh how about carrots and apples? Are you kinda of low on that as well in candy canes? I'm good on candy canes, I'm good on apples. Um I I don't think I have any more carrots. And then I'm low on hay. Okay. One second. Let's give him 105 hay. He said he has carrots. One hundred and eighty-three. Okay, uh, did I ever teach you how to make hay? Oh, yes, you did. Okay. All right. Well, here, I'll give you this. Um, I have 305 hay, but I'm going to give you 105 for now just to hold you over. Um, I, I sent a telegram to John Reed, and I'll let him know that all I have is 200. Um, I guess you, you and I are going to have to restock eventually. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I've been going here and there. But, you know, I know it's not safe, so I've been, you know, being pretty, um, careful oh, about it. Alright, hold on. Like, I went, I went yesterday and did it for a little while, and I got, like, 40 hay from it, but I ended up turning around and selling it pretty much the same night. Well, yeah, it's towards the end of the month, and so everybody's, like, resupplying for what they need and stuff. Okay, um, that gives me an idea. Whenever I'm off duty and stuff, I'll go do some, uh, I'll go do some picking for myself, and uh, so we can supply these people. Especially if John Reed's gonna want a big bulk order. Oh my God! Do you imagine how much money we're gonna make under that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it should be, it should be quite a bit because, yeah, like I said, he was he was talking about spending hundreds. Okay. All right, let's see. Everything. What it? What's our? What's our prices for hay? What was it like? Twenty five uh, bucks for. I, I don't. Speaking of which, I need to put this in my ledger real quick. It was for. 50 hay, it was $15. Um, 
and then 25 was 750. Well, yes. How's it been treating you? Not good, don't you know it? Yeah, but I went to Calaga Hall and started picking to make some hay and I did make a little bit, but like I said, I sold it pretty much the same night. So, uh... So what hours have you been selling and stuff? Like, like has it been in the early hours or these hours? I, I mean, it's been me around these hours, but I mean, it's been all over the place, but mainly around this time. I'm oh shit! A little bit earlier too, but um, <sighs> I've been selling a lot to Rush Klein. He's been buying a bit. Um. Oh, and okay. I ran into some random people last night up in Rhodes at the saloon there. Uh, you know, if you wanted to, if you can find some people to help you uh, to harvest these items, you know, you have my permission, just send me their names so I can put them on the business uh, license. And, you know, that way, because I'm going to do it, and then, of course, uh, you're going to do it, right? But it's just the two of us as of right now. Um, so we can get things done a lot quicker, especially if, if John reads one of the bulk orders, I imagine he's going to want some shitload of hay, shitload of carrots and shitload of apples to hold down right, this whole yeah. department. Yeah. I've been, I've been waiting for my brother to come back in state cause he's out of state right now. Cause oh, I okay. Him to, uh, you know, come with me and kind of show him the ropes. Cause I mean, picking that stuff pays pretty well too. I mean, um, you know, I got up to with the uh company making you know for 40 cents a pick so um that's pretty good and then on top you know on top of what we get yeah oh uh, so it's, it's nice did, did i ever give you the cookbook the recipe book oh yeah you did you did okay okay i wasn't sure if i did or not oh but... yeah All i right. actually made some candy canes and, and things like that not too long ago i think on friday what i'll do is wake up earlier um Usually I'll wake up about seven, right? Um, so I'll try, I'll wake up in the earlier hours and shit, I'll go, I'll, I'll get to harvesting myself um, and stuff. I just won't clock on or I'll, I'll wait like until later in the night to clock on or whatever. I'm going to do my, my training and stuff that I'm doing. Oh, you're talking about with the, the prison? Yeah, yeah, I just got hired on. Uh, Friday was my first day. Today is my second, so there's a lot of training that I'm supposed to learn and shit. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that'll, that's, that should keep things interesting, too. Oh, yeah. Um, I tell you what. If you know of anybody that's selling grain, apples, or carrots, or you know what? No, the carrots we can buy off the, the uh, whatchamacallit, the... Uh, the herbalist he sells his for 20 cents each i think right so we sell ours at a minimum of 20 cents if they buy an order of 25 or 50. but if they want something lower than that i usually charge them 30 cents so we make a little bit of profit apples are 75 cents a piece still in the general store so we might have to pick okay i just have to get to work that's pretty much it I got a yeah, fucking I mean, apples, harvest. I mean, I, I've been, those are, seem a little bit easier to, well, I don't know. I, I've just been doing it at random times and I've been, you know, I do it around an hour at a time or so and maybe less. And it, you know, I've had some good luck with doing it. I haven't been bothered at all, but at the same time, it might be because of the, the hours I'm there. Yeah. I, I, I know what you're going through. I mean, it's just 
it sucks being out in the field for like hours at a time just to supply all the stuff and it goes like really quick because by like you know you sell it faster than you pick it right right it doesn't really bother me though because i mean i'm getting paid while doing it too so it's not it's not like you know we're getting the supplies and then selling right away i'm getting paid for the time from picking for you know for the companies and things like that okay well if we get into trouble um i'll start buying what i can as far as apples carrots and grain or maybe even hay off of other people just so we can meet that demand uh that but that's the last case scenario i do have the money for that kind of stuff so just in case but yeah um I'll, I'll get to i'll get to work as well and i'll keep you informed I'll, I'll be awake on wednesdays and fridays um if i have to i'll wake up on sunday and i, I won't clock on clock on as a prison guard or anything like that i'll just get straight to work i mean um yeah I'm, i'll try to get some friends together to where we all go and i'll just maybe um we'll go and ask them like just to be there with me and obviously they keep all the stuff that they get from it whiskey 82 thank you just hey to, you know, the reap you know people around thank you for the follow thank you thank you for rating for me okay um i tell you what let me check on the business license and see how many people we actually have i think it's just you if i remember correctly all right because if I have other people on the business license, I'm going to reach out to them and see if they're still interested in working. If not, I'm going to pull them off. Not a, uh, not a whole lot's going on. Um, I, I was fixing the clock in, and then I, I realized that this guy has been holding it down, man, with the... Uh, with the rivers who for your horse business and so i'm trying to help him out and give him the the supply he needs oh shit do you happen to know a lucille wells have you ever heard of that uh no i feel like i've heard the name but i haven't run across anyone with that okay. name okay she was a person that i have on my business license maybe i'll try uh Reaching out to her. I don't know. I haven't heard from her in a long time. Yeah, I mean, even if she doesn't want to maybe sell, maybe she can just be around to go on trips to resupply. Okay, I tell you what. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send a telegram. Um, how, how long do you plan on being awake to? I, I mean, for a while tonight. Okay. I'm going to send a public telegram saying that uh, Rivers Food for Your Horse is uh, hiring. And if they need to contact somebody, is it right if I uh, put you down so they can meet with you and you can kind of just, like, talk them through what, you know, what the work conditions are and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm more than willing to do that. Yeah, we can do hire someone. Do you want me to, if I speak with someone and they're not maybe willing to sell, do you, would you be open and open to maybe hiring people to go yeah. on like supply runs and things like that? Like absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be willing to hire laborers, sellers. Uh, of course, I would have to come up with an idea number before, so we can give. Them, let's see. All right, let's say they make 45 cents for every harvest, right? Um, how about I give them 30 bucks for... Okay, I give them... Let's make it a condition. If they meet, if they come up with 100 hay... I give them 30 bucks. If they come up with 100 carrots, I give them 30 bucks. If they come up with 100 
uh, apples, I give them 30 bucks. But they can only do that once a week. You know what I mean? So... Yeah. Okay. Okay, so every week they'll have 100... They'll make... They'll have 300 items total. No more than that. And then I'll give them 30 bucks for every uh, 100 harvest that they got. Well, in this case, it'll be like 99 one or, or something like that. I mean... Yeah, because sometimes it, it, it sometimes you don't get an actual harvest of a hundred. You'll get a harvest of ninety nine grain and stuff. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, got an alert going for food. I mean, I all right, like all right. Thank you, whiskey man. I appreciate it. And, you know, and it's more of uh, the, I mean, they're gonna make extra money on the side while picking too. So yeah, company, yeah, so. yeah. And uh, let them know that uh, these jobs account everywhere. So, I mean, even for the, uh, let's see, what other fields are there that you can do, like agave fields and stuff like that? Um, oh, yeah. yeah, the reputation, the experience. yeah, the experience works all around the state, so it's pretty good. All right, yeah. Yeah, if, okay. you, if you put out a telly about it and they, people contact me, I'll meet up with them and everything. Uh, do I have your P.O. Box number? Uh, I don't know, but if you don't, it's 38890. Okay, 38890, right? Yes. When I have people in this that I haven't seen in so long. Contact PO box numbers of people I haven't seen in a while. Alright, um my of course mine's nine seven three one seven. I don't know if you want to write that down or anything like that. But yeah, I'll start uh I'll send a public telegram today. I'll say reach out to Egan uh Strupart. Hopefully I said that right. I didn't butcher your name. Stuart. It's alright. Oh, sorry. Oh, Stuart. Sorry about it. Okay. And then, um, and then, what was, what was your PO box real quick again? Oh, nine, seven, three, one, seven. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'll send that out and then have them speak with you and you can just lay it, lay it out. And just say, Hey, uh, would you be willing to labor for, uh, 99, Hay, carrots, and uh, apples. Uh, one time only, like every week, or every other week, or however they want to work. Uh, they'll get thirty bucks for the week for each item, so it'll be ninety bucks total, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, uh, and of course, if I start running out of money, I can always uh. I don't know. What do you think? You think ninety bucks is too much? I mean, if if uh, I'm trying to think, let me. Because they are making well, pretty good money. The harvest. You get, you get with the hay for a hundred, you get the money back. Oh yeah, that is so right. Um. Hmm. Maybe Enough. I mean I think maybe uh, you should change it to where it depends on what the item is. So like the hay, since they have to get the grain, and then and uh, you know make make the hay and put it together in bundles. Um, maybe make that one like if you're gonna make it thirty, then keep it at thirty. If not, like twenty five might be good too. Um, and then with apples, you know I'd say. Uh, so apples, 50 is 20. 30 is probably be good for that, too. Oh, okay. Because yeah. that oh. is... Let me see if I have any thing. grain. Maybe I can give you a little bit of grain. And then with carrots, I'd probably... Would you do the same for carrots? 
Oh, well, the price that we have is um, for 50 carats, $10. So um, if we do $30 for 100, then, you know, we're kind of cutting out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're breaking even with carrots. Yeah. This is $10 for 50. Oh, no, we're losing $10. Yeah, we're losing $10. There's not really a flat rate price we can just put on everything. Uh -huh. Right, yeah, because I mean, I've had people pay f pay more for those things too. Okay, like how. Had, uh... oh, go ahead. Let's see. So we make 40 bucks for 100 apples. Yeah, uh, so 30 is good there. And then we make 30 bucks for hay if they order a hundred. So we're breaking even there. Right. And then we're losing 10 bucks for wild carrots. What if we do 15 for carrots and 20 for hay? So yeah. we get, we do 30 apples. So that's 30, 15, which is 45. And then plus 20, so 65 total a week. Yeah, that, that sounds right. That sounds good. Yeah, we can make a, a, an additional $10 on that alone. And then, like you said, for instance, if they do make turn the grain into hay, then we can give them that extra bonus of... What is it? Twenty-five dollars, maybe? Or should yeah, we give him the whole thirty? Um, I, I'm trying to think. I mean, I'd probably say thirty, just because. Because um, they put it in the extra effort. Yeah, I'm trying to. Th I'm trying to think it from all. Yeah, maybe, maybe either that or 25. I mean, no matter what, we'll make our money back. What the, if they turn it into hay, so it's not really right. a loss, but. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because we wouldn't be losing anything. And we'd be cutting even, but at the same time, we wouldn't be making anything. Hmm. Well, at this point, it's just meeting the demand that the sheriff has. So, uh, maybe we can say, I don't know. Mm. i tell you what, oh. I mean, we could just tell them to do the grain, like to get the grain and we'll, we turn it into hay and we pay them 20 so that they don't have to put it together. Okay, that'll work. So we'll make $10, uh, profit on each item pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and do tell them they're only going to get like 99. They they won't actually make they won't actually get 100 items cuz they'll either get like 99, 101 or 102 or something like that, you know what I mean? But right. yeah. So, I mean, if they have the 100, they can give us the 100 and keep whatever else they have, but if they have 99, uh yeah, well, I mean, they'll still get their their money. So no big deal. All right. Oh, okay. I tell you what, would you like to have full permission on this and ram around it? And cause, uh, I really got to do my training and stuff, but, uh, d we, will you be willing to do a public telegram such as that? Yeah, I can do that if you want to, um, write a note of what you want to be said and then i can you know post the the telegram for you mm, okay okay okay
Labor. Labors. I also heard that there's new stock of horses in this state, new paints and everything. Is there? Yeah, that's what I heard that. Um, so I think Sonny told me, and a few other people told told me that. Oh. Uh, they did the stock out. You mean Sonny Hertz? Yes. Okay, what was your contact number again? I'm sorry. I, I forgot right. to... It's 38890, and I want to make sure I have yours correct, too, as well. Okay, that'll work. Is yours 97B17? Uh, yes, it is. Alright, thank you. send it to you Hold on, I'm doing a lot of stuff. I hear you. Can't find me. Here you go. Um... It, it can be something along the lines like that. You know, it doesn't have to be exact. You just got to play around with it. Because I know you, you have so many spaces, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's about only so much that the, the operator there will allow us to publish. Yeah. Um, but the no experience needed is the kicker that tells the, the person, the person who's reading that a, uh, you know, you don't have to be a genius to do this and stuff, and you'd be willing to teach them. Well, we will be willing to teach them. Cause, uh, I'm not going to put everything on your shoulders, you know what I mean? I will be helping you out uh, whenever I can, okay? All right, yeah, and I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's, you know, the, the main thing is just knowing where everything is, to be honest. Okay. Um. Yeah, let me know when your brother comes into state. Shit, I'll, I'll put him... At, like you two are gonna be like my top people, and then of course everybody else. Like y'all will be like pretty much the managers of the whole, the whole ordeal. Uh, the only thing is, uh, it'll be my ownership, right? But yeah, and of course whatever you make is yours. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, I wasn't knowing as or I see him. I might know that he's probably mainly gonna be ranching but i'm sure he won't mind like doing that on the side i mean it kind of goes hand in hand because he could also be someone that supplies for us um a buyer for the ranch you know the ranches and things like that if they oh yeah buy directly from us absolutely i heard of uh lee colt and stuff as a rancher uh i was supposed to get in contact with him and selling some supplies but uh, i forgot you know, but, uh, um, let's see what else. Now, you don't have to do this today. You can do this over time. Let's say you want to go to sleep or whatever. You have something else you want to go do. You know, by all means, go do it. Uh, it doesn't have to be done overnight. We just have to see what John Reed wants, how much he wants to tell you the truth. All right. Yeah, I heard the, um, I sent him a tele, a tele, and, um, I'll send them another one and um, 
because I told him to get in contact with you directly, but I also will, um, I'll contact him again and, you know, ask him, you know, the numbers of each supply that he would, he would, you know, like, and then we can go from there. Okay. Or I can just tell him, hey, we, we're willing to sell you, you know, 200 of each or something like that at this time. Yeah. And, um, and of course, whatever you do, um, like, let's say you go rob a store or anything like that. You get into trouble. You shoot somebody, whatever the case may be. Do not worry about getting fired. My company's not like that. You know what I mean? Just don't yeah. strong arm other companies, okay? Oh yeah, I, um, you don't have to worry about that with me because I don't, I don't plan on doing anything like that. Oh okay, yeah. One time I had to shoot somebody because he, because the LEOs were taking forever on the the what you might call it on the investigation, and the guy was fixing to go. Uh, Kidnap some people, hold them for ransom, torture them, and all kinds of other stuff. And I couldn't wait around for the LEO, so I took it upon myself to shoot the shit out of them. And I did it in front of the oh, sheriff's yeah, office. I probably would have done the same <laughs> in that position. I mean, in, in that instance, yes, but as far as robbing and, and uh, stealing from people, and you know, I, you don't have to worry about that with me. Okay, cool. Alright, sounds good. Alright, uh. Alright, I guess you'll have a. You have yourself a good day, and of course, I am a telegram away. Even though I'll be in Cisco, I can still uh, be reached by telegram or letter. Okay. All right, guy. Oh, good luck with your with your training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're hiring, by the way. If you're ever interested, or you and your brother are ever interested, you know what I mean. Uh, talk right. to Olive Howard or Evelyn Sanderson. Uh, Olive Howard's the warden. Um. Evelyn Sanders. Uh, maybe I don't know. I I just barely met her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you would just have to go to City Hall, um, fill out an application there, and they will respond to you. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I better get going. Uh. Hey, you think you can give me a ride to the docks? Cause it's a long walk from there. Appreciate it. The docks near um. Uh yeah, by behind the, behind the general store. Here in St. Diddy. Alright, I know where that is. Oh, and if they don't have a recipe book, um, they're more than... I'll leave it up to you whether or not you want to get hand them over a copy of that recipe book. If you meet people that are not familiar with the territory and they don't have a recipe book, just use your best judgment. I mean, it's not nothing secret or anything like that. It's just whatever, you know. Okay. Right. I wonder if I should check my telegrams before going. I mean, that's up to you. Um, but, yeah, I guess I might as well do it. Alright, one second. There's nothing. We're good to go. All right. I went up to Coulter the other day. 
Oh, did you? Yeah, I I went with um. Who did I go with? I went with Colette and someone else. Oh, hey, I remember Colette. I ran into her. She was a very nice lady. Oh yeah, very she's nice very lady. Nice. She's very interesting too. I'm a DOP. All right. Well, you have a good day, and I'll All see right, you when okay. I see you. Then. All right. Good luck. Uh huh. Tobias is not a Russian name, so. Oh, oh, okay. Is your name hey, Tobias you. Sanders? No, uh, it's me, Muddy. Um, hey, Muddy. Hey, what's going on? I'm fixing to go clock in. Uh, do you need me to come back? Okay. You can clock in if you want, since I'm a full watchman now. Oh, congratulations. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, did they need something? Martha, yeah, we're looking for Tobias Sanders, but he's not here, and I'm not sure where um, uh, Dallas went, so... She said she was going to the market, but I don't even know where the market is, and the only market I have. Oh, know, so oh, the market's over there in... Oh, shit. Um, like... That direction. Oh. <laughs> well, my... Yeah, but my finger wasn't working at the time. It, it, it was too slow. Well, I see, I hear excuses. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah, that direction. Like, if you look at your map, you'll see like a fork and a le and a butter knife. That's the symbol of the market. Uh, th where's your uniform? Oh, uh, I thought we were supposed to like. Like, take our vest off whenever we're off duty. Oh, I don't know, but I wasn't told about that. But if you're going to go on duty, you might as well put it on. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Uh, typically, I just usually put, take uh, the belt buckle off because that's usually an indicator. Uh, but, you know, to be funny enough, but this was the exact same outfit. I just had the chance to tie in the, and um, the belt, gun belt. Uh, have you been busy today? Uh, yeah, we had one transport, um, so far, and we have, like, three inmates so awake right now. Are you the only one? No, Bella's and Melody just, uh, is around, um... Oh, okay. Why does it take Bella so long? Come on, let's go, let's go find him. Let's go find her, I mean. You know, when I first heard the name Dallas Bird, I thought it was a guy, but when I met, met the person, it was a girl. <laughs> I feel so bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, it happens to the best of us. Wait, is that one? Yeah, that's him. Right, there she is. Wonderful. Hello? Just give me, like, one moment. Mm-hmm. Did, okay, I can see if he replied to my personal telegram. Alright, um, um... I didn't look for where he sent it from, I just assumed he would be, you know, smart enough to send it from here. Um, but. the person over there is Muddy Rivers, um, okay. he's one of the attorneys. Okay. So I'm um, just gonna I mean, be talking in, because he said he wants to. So, are you a senior watchman? No, I'm a watchman, um... Is Kennedy a senior watchman? No. Then he can't clock in. Um, from what I was told um, by Evelyn, that as long as there's a watchman around, he, he okay. can. That's fine. I mean, if that's the... I was told senior watchman, but if that's changed, then I don't... I, you know, I it's believe fine. I was... Fine by me. I they said senior wanna... watchman and higher can check off the list, but um, watchman see. can. Okay. Sounds fine by me. Because uh, I remember when Evelyn was uh, clocking up, it was just Alvarez and a bunch of trainees. Sure. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's go to the telegrams and see if, uh... Come on, Muddy. Let me see if, uh, Sanders replied to my telegram. Oh, Muddy, come on. Better start running because we're having to follow a horse. And the horse is <laughs> fast enough. 
<laughs> oh no! Oh, shit! Oh no! No! <laughs> yeah, this is Sissica. You're always feeling unfriendly. <laughs> I thought I was feeling friendly. Good. Oh. Oh. I'm feeling unfriendly. Unfriendly. Ninety-nine percent of my life because oh my that yeah. prison. You have to just always feel unfriendly in that prison. Yeah. Um, I don't want to get anybody in trouble if I go on duty because I kind of overheard y'all talking. Oh, you're fine. Um, I mean, it's I'm not worried about me. I just really wasn't sure. As far as I'm concerned, I don't really care. Um, oh, okay. Well, I can always reach out to. to clarify, but uh, yeah. yeah. See if let me see if I can get Olive federally. Hold on. Okay, sounds good. I'm sure they won't mind. It's just like it's better to get confirmation, you know. Sanders is in Armadillo. Oh gosh. Um I um We could did... have them go to <sighs> I think they block water is the best place they can go, but we have to give them a ticket. Or, uh, that, what is that, over by the Sea of Coronado? Um, okay, we have, we can't do that because we have a transport to do in Valentine. Okay, I'm just gonna tell them that they have to make their way here. Alright. Because, yeah, I've never done a... Um, they're gonna have to get them to come here and we have to go get the... What's wrong with his eyes? Okay. Um. Um, I think he can talk on because uh, when yeah, I was going fine. requesting to talk on, it's um, because uh, uh, Gail Harper was a yeah. watchman and I was Rivers, able to talk Rivers, just send a telegram that you're clocking on. I just let him know that you'd be joining us for the transport. Okay, I, sounds I good. I sent a telegram to DOP that um, uh, Melody to come, come over to St. Denis for a transport. Um, yeah, I told them that we're going to Valentine and Melody can meet us over there if she'd like. Um, um, and I just received confirmation from Olive that he can clock on. Yeah, it's, it's up to Kennedy if she wants to meet us there or if she just wants to stay. Um, okay, do you guys want to just take horses up there and we can get a wagon up there? Or... I don't know how Piper. How do you guys typically do it? Uh, typically take um a, a wagon, wagon from here. Okay, but, we can uh, do that. Um, Dallas, if you um you don't have your bed, but are you okay to the way till you get your bed? You're still you're on duty, but it's it's alright. Wait, what's going on? I don't have my badge. 
I have to go check oh. in. Uh, I'm sure we can go to the He Valentine. can go to sheriff's can... office. Yeah, in, you in can Valentine. just walk in there. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Alright, let's go to the, um... Stables. Stables. Alright, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Hey, Marty, really? do you want to, uh... Do you want to ride, uh, drive the wagon? Oh, you're the boss. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. I'm so proud. Adela just became a watchman, too. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna left behind. Even, I'm surprised. They just kind of just, uh, gave her an all every question and just checked things off. Which, to be honest, is kind of annoying because I had to do everything, like, instead of being asked questions. <laughs> I'm not the award <laughs> so. No oh, fair, she's beating us. All right. <laughs> okay. Stand back. <laughs> All right, you can drive the wagon. Here's your wagon. Oh, it's not red this time, dang it. Oh, you're the boss. You can go. You, you drive the wagon. Um, jealous. You yes, it's out there. Uh, oh, you're all prepared. Do you want me to drive? Uh, I'll leave it up to y'all. Y'all, y'all are the the bosses. Okay. If you so, scooch over. I'll just have. Oh, I was having Muddy uh drive the wagon. I'm gonna take lead on this. Okay. Are you gonna? Uh, uh what? What's that? No. He, Muddy can ride, drive the wagon. You can be on the wagon. I can get with him. Do you want me to get my horse or? No, just get on the okay. wagon with Muddy. I'll be okay, on horseback. So. Okay. You can do it. You roosted or something? <laughs> Howdy. Howdy, sir. Howdy. Okay, Valentine. Sir, give me one moment, sir. Oh, got headache. Ow. It's not a headache, it's... Sir! Sir! Us? Sir! Sir! Oh. Jesus Christ. He's a guy... Oh, oh, the the fucking department you pulled, a, you pulled out a fucking pump action shotgun! You know, you think <sighs> that was a fucking illegal contraband! Wow. I fucking hate this city. Alright. <laughs> uh, uh, your first transport? Yeah. Okay. I'll take Lee so you know how it works. Sure. Sounds good to me. When I take Lee, I'm usually the Oh, you guys are going the wrong way. Is it faster to go the other way? Uh, no, just follow me. Okay. Uh, more direct. I'm gonna off-road a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. And, um, I will take the you can follow what okay. I do. Uh, sure. Once we arrive there, we need uh, to check and uh, once someone has to check in that we arrive. Um, I can do that, and after that we have the, also, once we got the two in custody, um, in our custody. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, okay. oh my, you just need to have fucking stump a lot more, okay. <laughs> uh, we, um, send... We send them, we do, do the paperwork, we're gonna, we're gonna ask them what their name is, like their full name is. Um, and then, um, uh, for the transport, you know how to fill out a transport, uh, paperwork, right? Yeah. Uh, you fill out a, tra a, a transport, uh, paperwork, uh, you just need to get their names, um, of the inmates, and, um, what the time, what time they're serving, so you can write that in the paperwork so we know, um, uh, what time to sentence them with. Um, 
Also, we are allowed to at least uh, take a, get them 20 months off if they are cooperative. If they're not, then we don't have to take anything off during the time of transport. Uh, is it, max is 20. Max, it, max is, is it 20, 20 or is it 10? I believe it's max is 20, I believe. I always thought it was, okay. I can double check. Say, I always thought it was be, 10. It might be to say with this to say 10. Then 10 is max. Uh, we can take off. And not, nothing over. Um, they are, um, you, I would like you to give them a, like a speech, like, uh, let's just say if he tries to do anything, like run away, car, we are crawl, okay. whatever, do anything to try to escape, he only will give him only one warning before he gets shot. Uh, okay, sounds good. Let him know that he fucks around. Uh. Are you? Piper, she, you go to Valentine? I think she's going through town. <laughs> oh well. This is more direct. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I tell you what, Piper. Before we get to a turn that you want to take, let us know beforehand, okay? Oh, oh, okay, let's see. So, are we going through Emerald, or did you want to go through uh, the diseased town? Just go straight from here. This is the road I usually take to go to Van Horn. Oh. This is actually my first uh, transport, so I have no idea what you are talking about. <laughs> Did you grow up in state or out of state? Uh, I grew up out of state. I've been here for about a little over a year. Okay. Oh, I guess she's going through the dead town. Yeah, also not the shortest way, Piper. If we if go up, like kind of near Emerald, that's the fastest way from here. Mm -hmm. But it seems like a little bit roundabout, but as far as roads, because these roads just wind around so much. Yeah, especially with all these mountains around here. Yeah. yeah. If you were off-roading, you know, just making a straight beeline, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, no, that's what I, I was saying. I don't want to off-road. But... <laughs> I had to have for once. Uh, oh gosh. But luckily enough, we were still able to go with three wheels, but it's just like it was kind of bumpy. <laughs> yeah. See up here coming through McWay. Oh, gosh. Fucking crying. See the locals. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like trying to get back on the road because I was trying to not run that guy over. <laughs> Doesn't have the best turn radius. <laughs> what the deer? I'm gonna hunt you now. I'm too busy. Get out of the way, deer. That buck, uh, that buck now is not to keep away from BOP now. So I was told that uh, there's new horses in state. Are yes. they been ro? Uh, there's another yeah, rotation. Yeah, there's been new shipment of horses that came into from both uh, to the new stables, and all some of the old horses were uh, taken back onto the boat. Ah, <sighs> dang, more adventuring. What were you looking for? Oh, nothing in particular. I just uh, bought a, an American Standard bread. Uh, it was about three weeks ago, I think. No, yeah, I, I have one that has a buck skin. And then this one was solid black. So they're my favorite horses. I swear the, the, uh, the black Perkman. 
and the black American standard bread and the black Arabian and the black fox chowder. I swear I've seen a lot of criminals use that horse. And I'm just like, I'm like, goodness. It's like, oh, well. I know they're good horses, but I guess I know some criminal wants to go black on black on black on black. I'm checking black and black. Oh, uh, actually, that's my only black horse. Hmm. Yeah. I have. Uh, I I was looking for him since I first came to state, and and I finally saw him after you know a year, and I was like, I have to buy it now before I forget. I have two Arabians. I have a um a uh, gray Arabian, which is currently not in a state. Um, oh, the gray one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I, I got this one here. I just got, I got her today, so her name is Red. DMP making coming through. Um, her name is Red. Cause, you That's know, a good-looking horse. She's Red. Yeah. She's, a, she's a, the Red Raven that doesn't have the white socks. Ah, okay. And then See, I have a... I, that's almost all white with some black markings. Yeah, those Arabians are too short. I, I, I tried riding one and my feet were scraping the ground. <laughs> oh, they're not... No, that's not like donkeys. It's, it's, yeah, I know, but I'm exaggerating. <laughs> tall people, but I usually recommend just not having a small horse if you're too tall because some um, horses feet are... Feet will drag on the ground. <laughs> yeah, well... I haven't seen a tall person drag their feet on the ground yet, unless he's like eight feet tall. Or I pick a Arabian because I'm I'm small size and I'm small and red is small. It fits you, yeah. That's how you pick your horses, right? and agile on their feet. Coming to make way. Oh yeah, that's right. We're supposed to be saying that along the way, right? Yes. Okay. People need to get out of our bubble. Get the hell out of the way, DOP. Oh, sorry. I mean to go. So, uh, how you liking the job so far? It's good. Oh gosh. I gave you the reins. Good luck. <laughs> uh, I got it. Forgot that when I uh, <laughs> rub my throat to uh, adjust my voice. Yeah, yeah. I, I uh, should have kept quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, it's good though. It's good. A um, little bit chaotic, but that's okay. Oh, do you? Should we always see red? At all times, or should we just like? Um, I tend to. Okay, oh, I was just wondering. God damn! This is oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> God damn! My butt, that's my pussy. Are you I'm good? Sorry. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good. I just I was giving him a little little push out of the wagon. Oh. Uh, right, I'm gonna just some. If you want to put, I, I gotta it's just just go first. <laughs> Sure, absolutely. All right, so uh -huh. problem number one. 
Uh, we now have oh, three, yeah, and I apologize for that. The third suspect just decided to show the fuck up. Okay, yeah, so sure. you've got two Butch Creek cousins. You've got Monty and Otis. Uh, Monty mm -hmm. has pled guilty, and I'll give you his time. we got to wait for Jesus. Otis since he literally just, literally just turned himself in by entering sure. the cell. We also have a Frank Faxton who is refusing Ugh. to give his plea and is in That's extreme flight risk. Face. So uh, um, I'm going to give him one more opportunity to do so. If not, we're going to go and assume and not give oh, plea. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, what, okay. what were you saying oh, again? That's not moving. Hey, yeah, so you've got three individuals. Frank Faxton is Ugh. going to be probably the most, I gu actually guarantee you this on paper, will be the most irate criminal you've ever dealt with in your entire time in state. And as a hands down um... promise, I'll even pay you $20 for your trouble just for being the ones who came here. Okay. Um, it just, I'm so sorry in advance. I'm so sorry. Uh, what, what hey, he's bad you enough, but I thought about just to join us you. for the transport since there's only three of us here. I mean, if honestly, if you just want to take the cousins and force us to take him, completely okay with that. No, it's fine. We can take um, all three. Yeah, well, he's we saying it take, now, but we can take all three. Um, but I do recommend maybe having maybe one of you deputies join us for the if that's okay with you. Um, just uh. If there are, there's going to be three of them, so... It'll probably be joining, but I gotta see what's going on with them in the first time. But anyway, so let's go ahead and start that. Um, so Monty's been serving time. I'll work that out for you once we get in there. I'll give you the full names. And okay. depending on how long Otis takes to say something, we'll be able to give you all three ones. But all right. Again, good. name's Church. Sorry in advance for fucking Frank. <laughs> I like You're all welcome to come in, by the way. And you can send your angry letters to me like a day from now. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, that's right. You say that now, but, uh... Where did you get that wheat from? <laughs> yeah, we'll wait for, um, Marcus to go back. All right. Um, that's a lot of dice. Let's, let's get, a. I'm gonna Why? go ahead and get Otis. Have we got Otis searched or now? Monty, didn't you just left Jessica? All right. Yeah. Monty. Uh, no, sorry. No, no, Monty. Otis, can you hear me? Uh, All right, who's no, who's who's headed to the UP? Okay, all three of them. Hey, who's 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 leading the UP? You're being charged for, for felony obstruction of justice, robbery, oh, and anybody? two counts of oh, aggravated battery. Right. How so do you let's plead? go ahead. Let's plead guilty. Plead guilty. Okay, so we got three people going to uh, with y'all. All right, um, use okay. them timing now. God damn it. All right. Okay, we're gonna untie you now. Um, is the door locked? No, it's probably not. I'll do it. Lock the front door first, please. All right. <laughs> Mother of justice, man. You got it. All right, it. be careful. This guy Mother is uh, of frisky. Justice. Mother of fucking justice. All right, All right so... Oh, Otis, I, I'm actually generally so asking you get them to not do anything. I was What the hell was telling you? Why did we kick my cousin yet? Uh, sorry, give me one sec, DP. Yeah, right, so Monty has, uh, no, is serving. Oh, Butch's Creek. Wait, Butch's Creek, quiet for a second. Oh, Hold right. on. Lads, yeah. come on. Okay, this no. way. Lads, everyone be quiet. Thank you. Uh, right, so Monty is going for a total time of 115 months, of which he's already served 40, so... You're looking at taking him to Cisco for 75 months, all right? Otis will be going for 70, sorry, for 115 months total. Oh, uh, we're not going to add the aggravated battery of what he does? Otis is on, he, did he just aggravate battery? Oh, so my apologies. Yeah, he, so, he came in and just beat everybody up. Yeah. Okay, so, we'll uh, so one, Otis is going for 160. Okay. Two counts of aggravated battery. Yeah. Do you want the list of charges? Was 75. Uh, so Monty is 115 total, and he'll be serving, okay. and he'll be serving 75, and insisted he served 40 months. Okay. Point. The other gentleman, uh, we'll do that here in a second. Mr. Thaxton, this is your one and last chance to consider your time. You plenty of time to think about it. Stupid! I'll be out tomorrow. Pleading is that you're pleading guilty to all charges? You heard it. I, I need you to say it again. I'm not saying it again. You heard it. I, I didn't. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna assume it's not guilty if you don't say it again. Guilty. Oh my god. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Right, so Mr. Thaxton. Getting 245 if you don't count the yeah. possible criminal charts. No, we won't count that. It's fine. It's whatever. Uh, he will be going for seven counts to so 245 months. Be sure to on Cisco. Front porch tomorrow. How many? 245 months. 245, okay. 
Fun fact, seven Fun assault shot uh, uh, fucking assault charges adds up. We gotta listen in. We don't know how to handle all this stuff, so we're just we're learning. You guys aren't gonna do shit. Mr. Faxton, I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. Once you're uh, transferred over to our custody, I recommend you get really polite really fast. Otherwise, we're going to have a really bad time because uh, we can be a lot more uh, aggressive Fun. with you than they can. Okay? So, I don't give a shit. Kill me if you okay. want. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Shoot. All right. So Thank we're going to be preparing for uh, said um, transfer of custody. Ma'am, to my left, what's your name? Uh, 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 Sorry, I'm Watchman Bride. Watchman Dallas Bride. Bride. Okay. Dallas Bride. So I'm gonna have each of you approach the bars and then turn around. I'm gonna all right. uh, you got uh, all three behind the bars. At this, yeah, at this given point in time, I'm gonna release uh, custody all three of these two, bro. Okay. All right, thank you. Turn around, Monty. And I will send you a gift basket via Telegram. Would uh? I appreciate if, it. If you, <laughs> if you guys are not too busy, I'm so sorry. would one of you deputies like to join along with the transport? Um, I'll go. I was heading to Rhodes anyway. Um, all right. Well, actually, are you staying fucked on, or I'm Still staying fucked with on, me, so I'll okay, follow go, him. Go with them, yeah, go with them. Yeah, you're just if Batman goes, I'll go with him. Okay. Yeah, you go, you, you go. God damn, I can't. Uh, uh, you know the rules I, I have, have to Redmond. follow. Find me to the bar, you asshole. That's what not how I did it. Okay, hold on, let me do it again. Oh, yeah. Uh, Redmond, I'll don't worry about here. Baxton's paperwork. I'll take care of it, mate. Thank you. Yeah. You got them all three cut up. Uh, Thaxon is not tied up. But, but he's yeah, gonna be taking on the wagon. No, you just could, uh, uh driving the uh, wagon. Let, 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 uh, let DDP take care of tying up Thaxon. It's gonna have to reach. He's, he's right. in there custody now. Alright, come over here. There we go. You're gonna have to get more. me. Thank you. Push your to you. Okay. Come here and get me if you want me. Red, okay, well, let them do it. Let them do it. Let You fuck around and find out. And... All right, I we're gonna let you two go out first. Put your creep. Shoot me if you have to. Okay. Uh, uh should I get okay, on the wagon? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Everyone, shh. Everyone, be quiet, really quick. Frank Faxton, I want to make this very clear. If you try to escape our custody, if you try to step outside of the wagon, if you try to run, if you try to go too far from us, we will shoot you. Understood. All right, I'm gonna try my luck. And, uh, okay, and sounds we'll good. Distract your now that we're clear, it's gonna be the best fire. ride down the Cisco ever. Okay, now no, that we're just, clear, no, you're, I might die. Let's on this continue. Ride. Okay, you might if you fuck around. You, you might. might. So, well, why, do you, not, not, yeah. why do you got to okay. say everything over again? Like, why don't you just shut up? What I'm not. That? I'm not, not responsible you. for getting you to Sisica not alive. You. I'm responsible for getting you to Sisica. That's it. Okay, are we good? All right, you're gonna have to come in here and Wonderful. get me. And if you kill me in here, then oh well, I'm dead. All right, how do you want to do this? You want to get the give push me a gun, the make guys out first, and give me put a up gun in the wagon, and, and then we all work on. No, we're not Faxon. giving you a gun. Okay, is Faxton in our uh, custody? Uh, can you? Uh, all, all three of them are in your custody at this point. Okay, sounds time. good. What you want? Wonderful. Yeah, well, um, if you want to resist, let us know. But if not, we'll stand actually. Okay, we'll start with the push the guys. Otis, straight up ahead. Redmond. Let, let Can someone it. open the back oh, door? Okay, and you are now in their custody. Go ahead, Miss Bird. Because if they act goofy at this point, they can do a we, whole shit. We can't shit open the back door. But we'll we'll open it for you. All right, thank yeah, you. Oh wait, hold on. Um, let me make no, sure he's uh, that... tied. Well, what you mean, that's tied? Yeah, he's tied. I messed up. I messed up. No, Otis. 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 You just opened the back door. Attic. Oh hi, uh, did you just open the back door yet? Uh, nope, it is still locked. Oh, that's fine. Okay, both are... Right, Otis, uh, Otis, okay, I'm Bob begging both of you, please don't run. Like, back I'm and begging. It's not running. Thank you, boys. No, oh. okay. Monty, back inside. Right. Hold, hold on, hold on. Monty, just stay, stay for a second. Yeah, we're gonna do all one right. Is that skating right. in the wagon now? Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. Thank you, Otis. Appreciate you. All right, bye. Uh, so ugly. All the way to to the front. Uh, Muddy, why don't you tie yeah. his hand to the wagon? 
You'll stay out here and uh, we'll Fuck bring you. the. Uh... Um, um, come here real quick. Yes? I, I haven't been taught that yet. It's okay, just take his bindings and tie it to the wagon. Uh, and that's it. I just uh, stay by the wagon because we're going to bring more out, okay? Hey, look at. We lost my <sighs> dress, I drew the other one on. Alright. Looks good, right? Looks good. Looks good. Next, Monty, let's go onto the, the wagon. If you wiggle cartwheel or anything away from us, then you will be shot. This is your final warning. Oh man, I was playing the cartwheel too. Alright. Uh, switch sides. Cartwheel all you want in Sissica. All the way down. How do I do this? Alright, let's go beat this. That's this guy's ass. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, let's go I'm beat his ass. Yes. Once we get the Sisica, let's go beat his ass. Obviously, that's what I say. Come on, open it. I'm gonna run like a badger. Yeah. Oh, no, we're going this way. Oh. Open it. Um, okay, yeah, here's yeah, an idea. Yeah. Um, can someone open this? No, oh, we're going out the back. Um, uh, just tie him up and I'm gonna put him on the back of my kill? horse. You guys ready to kill me right now? No. Go, 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 go. Nope. Sir, turn and face the wall. Nope. Sir, turn and face the wall. Nope. Turn and face the wall. <laughs> put him on the back of my horse. Since uh, he's going to be more of a flight risk. This is Frank Faxton. Yeah. Uh, Which is why I owe like everybody in DOP at dinner. Yeah. Can we move? Mm -hmm. What's your name? I, the one that's carrying me. What's your name? No. The one in the the one right there by the door. The sheriff. Bill who? Jackson. All right. Okay, Mr. Costa, put uh, your gun away. Uh, you're just going to be uh, observing. We have uh, t uh, three hey. DOP in me. All right, Church. Uh, I got you. Just, just get I'll me be... Yep, good work today. Oh, God. Okay. Thank you, DOP. Sorry about that. A thousand hugs. You're fine. Make sure to feel friendly if you're driving. your last hug. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming yep. back. Are you struggling Get with the wagon? Are you... Be a no, 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 no. I'm waiting for you to come back. Are you on the wagon? I think we're having a little bit of uh, visibility issues here. Hold on, let me get off. What? What is going on with Think Yeah, I think he's having issues. Can you hurry All up? Right. I have two forty five to serve. Come on. Four. Okay, there we go. You good? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. uh, jump in the back with us. Yeah, Bill gets no reduce. Uh, you need both. You need to be feeling friendly. And you want to be friendly. jumping on team wagon. No, there we go. Runner, I'm gonna kill him. Okay. That's Wonderful. Uh, I'll kill him if I get the chance. Any chance I get, they're gonna die. Frank, shut Along the fuck with up. Anybody else. Frank, shut the fuck up. I'm talking the whole way there. Frank, shut the fuck up. That. Okay, well, you can talk all the way there, but you sound like a chuckle fuck, so... <laughs> well, so do you. Look, listen to yourself. I fucking love that woman, dude. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, you should marry her if you love her. 
You got a wife yeah, yeah, at least, or a husband? At, at like least she's actually something? got an interest rather than you. You was very lonely and sad. Your ass uh, I think Frank's like got a sheep or a goat or something that he cuddles up with at oh, night at least. Damn. <laughs> oh god damn! Oh god damn! Yeah. You know what? I think this. Yeah, Frank salty guy chat is... like kicked me. I don't know. It's like what? I think he is the epitome of the Valentine mood. He's he's the personified Probably, yeah. Valentine mood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was agree with me, okay? He's so stupid, he is. I know he's you really will. He's stupid. Yeah. He's gonna beat his ass once we get the Sissica, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I'm mean, pretty sure that these cards aren't even gonna be opposed to it yet. A lovely talk. Yeah, that's he's right. Gonna, yeah, they're gonna look away. Today, I ran into Texas Devils, uh, Butcher Creek, and the Ramos Brothers, and none of them are nearly as abrasive as Frank. Hey, yet. sounds like a wonderful day. Good, I'm ready to die. Ugh. Can we just shoot him? Is someone what? talking? I'm ready, ready to die. die. Piper, Piper, was someone talking? I didn't. I, I don't hear. It sounds like a weird uh, cockroach or something. I don't know. I think I hear crow. Oh, okay. Crow. EOP coming That's through. Watch it, guy. Didn't sound too important. Oh no, Redman, you dropped your gun. It'd be a real shame if I picked it up and I shot back to you. <laughs> when yeah, did I drop my gun? Yeah, I'm still gonna shoot devils. I'm gonna shoot oh. Dexter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is right. Well, you'll be in Cisco with him, so um, I'm sure uh, DLP will get set some ground rules, and then, well, you'll all uh, play nice, right? Oh yeah, that's right. We always play nice in Butcher Creek. Always playing nice, a cult until our Oh, always. Butcher Creek, I remember you. Hey. Oh, you just remember who? Sir? What's close the end? It was, uh, I don't know what his name is. There's two of them. Sorry, did I ask so... you asshole? <laughs> I don't know, they were worthless things. What the hell? What the hell? He, the hell? he, he said, just said, because it's worthless. They're worthless. He's gonna kill him. He's gonna kill him. He's gonna kill him. He's worthless. I'm sure that these guys are turning around. I'm sure that Frank. Can have hey, hey God on the horse side is, with is the sexy Frank still underwine. talking shit? He is. He's oh, called because well, it's one well, thing. I couldn't hear him. I don't really talk I, I, bullshit. I don't understand so, you know. uh, bitch words. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like Frank. You're using the same words as me. So that makes All right, DOP coming through. Watch it. Yeah, that's right. We just DOP. You get the hell out of the way, asshole. P Frank Piper, you still got a cockroach on the back of that horse there? Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to. Does anyone I just, here know the language, bitch language? Because I, I don't. don't understand. Okay, so anyway, how's your day today, Piper? Uh, it's been actually great. Piper's gonna a, die tomorrow. Good, good. To transport. Piper's dying as soon as I can. You know, I don't even care about Piper. Okay, I'm glad that you have a I'll just call the bloodbath in Valentine. Stay out of Valentine. Okay, yeah. I think uh, I after work, I'm gonna right do, uh, to probably have some tequila. Um, Sit back, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe go to the I bar. I got a Navy stash right behind the doctor's you know how office. Tequila I'm gonna use that made? to murder everybody. No how is tequila it made? it used to be made with wolf hearts. And I remember uh -huh. they were always wolf asking, mm -hmm. go gather, kill as many wolves as possible. Because the huh. draw bones are for the knives, which were yeah. at the time, like, very lucrative. And then sure. the mm -hmm. hearts were for tequila. They're still and I yep. always wonder, like, you know, what? why was that? Like, what, what, uh -huh. what part of the wolf heart? was needed for tequila but recently i heard that tequila has now been made wolf heart free i don't know if they got it was too brutal or something um, just... so, you know yeah it's, it's not made with wolf hearts <laughs> yeah yeah uh, we're gonna have to cover a cover hand you think they funnel uh, it through the heart sounds good to me i don't want to risk him taking to uh to santini because he might okay. uh, try to escape and get the sure. alleys and plus, I don't like yes friends around. So, how are you two cousins today? Oh, we's all right. Yeah, yeah good. You, there's just a little bit of an insect that we got to stomp on. Okay, yeah, I mean, you know, I don't really like insects either, so I can understand that. I usually, you know, yeah. squash annoying cockroaches myself. Yeah, that's right. We still like cockroaches. 
Hey, uh, if I mentioned that you tried to throw uh, Clyde and Seth under the bus or under the um, under the carriage uh, earlier by the giving bus? their name, the under bus, the wagon. <laughs> I mean, you, 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 it's like the verb, but uh, yeah, the wagon. Uh, it's a verb. What? Yeah, when you like when you bust somebody around. Uh, boss. Sure. <laughs> So when you um when you did that like they don't care like you guys always switch up your names like you yeah, give yeah. each other warnings yeah we like, a bunch of like, that's what we like, do what the heck like as a game okay, uh, okay. I mean why not just say cousins you know like if it's you're all just... then we can laugh at them when they get arrested for things we've done yeah oh, because also... <laughs> at a certain also point we're just, we're just gonna say butcher cousins and we're just gonna give you all the same warrants and if any one of you gets caught we're just gonna assume oh well those are the butcher well, cousins but they're gonna have like... a lot of goddamn <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you really want to go to court? I mean, I'd, so, I'd love to see one of you guys in court. DOP coming through. Clear the road, boy. Oh, it'd be alright. We we got a uh, real fancy the lawyer man. Yeah, the lawyer man. Uh, Piper, is it fast to go straight here or make a right? You just make a right, but that's alright. I think it's through right here. The ass told uh, you. Uh, straight. Uh, I just checked my map. I just don't care. I just told you how to get there. <laughs> well, I'm not listening. All right, you just keep going north, and then we's gonna be in Butcher Creek. Okay, sounds good. All right. He's taking us to Butcher Creek. Sorry about that, sir. DOP coming through. That local has a pump action shotgun. What if we're pump? I thought it was contraband. What, what, are, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, Piper, your, your brother is in Boyd, is it? Uh, yes. Yeah. Boyd is my brother. Oh? What the hell? Boyd. Langston? I yeah, this boy, we staking uh, things from work before. Younger sister. Oh, what the yeah. hell? Okay. Excuse me, Ray. DLP coming through. I was only met boy once. From they? Yeah, a long, long time ago. Oh, all right. I was at, uh, I was at Emerald, and he showed up, and I told him, fuck you, and then I just ran away. Do you guys have, like, oh. Favorite maybe devils? Maybe in the far future, maybe, uh, but, um, uh, right now I'm just trying to be in a DLP. Yeah. Oh, or is that the, like... There's the whale asky. That's, that's, that's <laughs> a real scary devil. Okay. Who else? Right, we've got the really card devil, uh, Esme. Yeah, Esme? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's right. Yeah, she's really kind, uh... That's why I have a little cousin crush on her. Oh, yeah? Uh, you used yeah. to make Pickle, he's an asshole, because he's taking my oh. socks. Yeah, I took uh -huh. his. I, well, I took his mustache, so I think he's evil. Yeah. Oh, you took his mustache? Yeah, yeah. Oh. You took a man's mustache? Yeah, I took his mustache. Interesting. You take his mustache? Yeah. Do you get charged with the theft for that? No, I still do. Yeah. Or is that maltreatment? Yeah, I don't know, but the pickle was going to shoot me, and then he's sitting here. Does a mustache count as a, a part of a body? Yeah, that's that a hell of a count, question. Right? That's part of your body, right? Yeah, I, I guess. Sounds like maltreatment to me. What the hell? Really made you think, didn't I, Monty? Yeah, yeah. I think, <laughs> think my brain has worked like that before. Don't think too hard, your brain might melt. Okay, we have reached our destination. Next stop, the One Star Resort. All right. Well, I was tied to the wagon. Oh, I'm sorry. He oh, forgot to I tie me to the wagon, so I'm I gonna run could have ran away when I could. Oh, there's a camera. Not making a walk. I appreciate you guys being uh, compliant. Be Thank you. I appreciate that. You wouldn't uh, be trouble. Uh, Okay. Well, that's <laughs> I was gonna say, we can uh, take him to Sissica like he is, that's fine. 
<laughs> See, the thing you don't realize, Frank, is we can leave you tied up in Sissica as well. Oh, we just can feed him to a we're, gator? We're not, we're not, we're not, we're, we're not under no obligation to give you use of your hands. Can we just feed him to a right. gator and stay in? At this point, you made it clear yeah. that you're gonna run away and, uh... I'm gonna you make know. it clear that I'm hey, gonna shoot everybody. Look that at that I could beautiful sunset. As soon as I get it's so gorgeous. Look at the oh, sunset. Oh, look, it's beautiful. Oh, damn. Uh, it's a shame that I'm looking at your back. Uh. All right. All right, cousins. Get ready. Try not to go wet. Right, you just cut my ropes, please. I, sh I, I, I don't want to drag. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hold on. Oh, yeah, but just find the dogs. We're going to do it one at a time. Oh, that's fine. That's cool. Let's talk about ropes. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just one at a time. Get him over there first. Can you also talk about ropes? Uh, yeah, Piper can get in with me. Um, if. I don't think I can get on. I think, can you back you, up you, towards the dock? Yeah, you're going to have to get on from the dock. That's fine. I can't reach for- I can't jump You're good. on there. Yeah, you can jump from the dock. Yeah, let me do it. Let me no. Try. no, 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 don't let him do it. I'll, 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 let him do it, let him do it, it's alright. <laughs> no, yeah, they want to- let me, let's see what's like. No. Uh, I'm gonna wait for our, the boat to get closer. Alright, I'll you, it's so me. There you go. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Oh, oh thank you. Beautiful. All right. Thank you, deputies. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, I believe so. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. All right. Thank you, Jack and Evelyn. Okay. Look at us, a merry band. All right. Now we feed him to a gator. No. Uh. Where did? Uh. Monty, are you still on the boat? Oh no, he fell off. Uh, Did he? Fell he? Off. Oh gosh, Monty. <laughs> Hold on, Monty, we're we're coming, coming back. back. Very fast. I Come on, Monty, I swim, Monty. I swim. I swim. I got you. I'm on. Okay, you good? I'm there we go. Okay, All right, we're good. Very good. Very good. Come on, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Go to the lake after a little bit. Yeah, just a little uh, bit more. Why? So just you can jump bit. on that boat? Absolutely no, not. No, no, no. Uh-huh. No, I just never do that, yeah. For some reason, I don't trust you. Looks like Captain why. Blackbeard up there. Have you ever seen that painting on top of the boat? Is it painting on top of the boat? Oh, uh, I saw a painting one time in my life of Captain Blackbeard on top of the tip of the boat. Here, let me kick you right there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Enjoy. Kick her again, and you will be shot. Do it again, you will be shot. The thing is, I think he wants to be shot. I know. Shoot me. <clears throat> God damn, you could have hit me, you asshole! Yeah, what the hell? Who did I hit? We just got off the boat. Oh, sorry, did I hit you? I didn't mean that because uh. you almost hit me. Oh, okay. <laughs> GLP out of the way. You shouldn't be too close to the island. That Not was real tempting. That's not gonna last. That's not the bad doing it. You just come back. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What the hell? Oh. Okay. That's a run Okay. Oh, uh, he's okay. Mm. All right. Mm. Oh, goddamn, you almost crushed me. All right. We's going to New Butcher Tree. Yes, I's gonna push there. All right. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah! don't forget. <laughs> Hi. Are you good? 
Yeah, we're good. How's Faxton? Does he have a bullet hole I need to patch up now? I'm most likely. Okay. Yeah, I shot him in the shoulder. Nah, he's be alright. Hey, I'll be alright. Someone has to open the door since I can't. Well, alright, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I told you, I was got to eat. I'll be darn. Oh, I thought it was a lot. Huh. Oh, Rock, yeah. look! No Butcher oh. Creek. Always got no Butcher Creek. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Medicare locks yeah, behind right. us. Put your name on the wall, you asshole. Oh, hi, Soup! <gasps> soup! soup. Hi, Dad! Hi, Soup! Remy. Yeah, we're just gonna beat that guy's ass. Cause he's threatening the cousins. Yeah. Good brick man to get you in. Uh, that, that, um, he's that was promised to kill pretty much everyone he meets, serving. and the oh, creek cousins want to so... kill him as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, he says he's gonna go shoot up Valentine, and you know all this, oh. all this nice, delightful stuff. So. Oh, uh, that, that it sounds was... like a very lovely person. Where's yeah, Dallas? he's been Dallas. a real uh, piece of work in transport. Uh, let me pull my paperwork out. Oh, hi! Where's the, the mean guy? Um, Dallas, uh, whenever Monty, you're... Th what, for, um, Frank is 2.45. Max time, don't remove any. Which one is Frank? The Remo one on the ground, currently. Make a deal. I told him that we don't have to keep him unrestrained here, so if he wants to fuck around, he's gonna find out. Yeah, two forty-five. Stupid whenever you say that. Oh, whenever you're in my damn prison, you're gonna respect my damn watchman. That's for sure. That's not See, happening. you think that I'm a mean person? Oh, you have that right yet. Getting so. respected around here. I'm sorry. All right. How much? Not one. Otis is getting one fifty. Monty. Uh, Monty is getting sixty-five. I'll knock you out in four seconds. Alright? What about the I already, I already had to put a bullet yeah, in him. Ten months for transport. Oh, goddamn. You were 75. Yeah. Hey! What the hell? What, what yeah, I just told you I was gonna beat you, goddamn You better stop. You better stop right there, buddy. You want to shoot you again? Yeah. Ray, I did not mean to hit you. Huh? Stop. Yeah, take him out to the fields. Oh, Otis is 150. Start walking toward the fields. The other way, fella. Toward the fields. So Where's just, the fields? What is, to your left. That's that 150. Way. Right. 150. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's go. All right. Hey, soap. Where are you, soap? Thank, Thank you. Soap. All right, there you go. Make a left. Hey, soap, come here. All right, everybody. Out the gates. Alright, uh, can I, can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, go for it. Okay. I was having a little trouble, uh, tying them whenever they are in the wagon. Uh, uh, can you help me? Oh, he's all right. Everyone's gonna die. You leave the, you leave the island devils alone. Everyone's dying. Yeah, there's the island devils alone. He, he's good. He's good. All right, cousins, Good step back. That's right, you asshole. Yeah. Okay. Hey, cousins, you okay? Yeah, that's all right. All right, cool. You, I was, I was oh, it's very him. okay. It is very okay. He's oh. pissed me off. He's told he's threatened the cousin, so he's gonna beat his ass. I think he just murdered that guy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, we gave problem. him so many warnings, man. Ah, shit. Uh, I guess I'll telegram for a doc. Wait, there's already somebody here. Oh, yes, there's someone here, but what the fuck is your problem, dude? Uh, oh, me? I uh, am. This, this inmate. Not I don't know. He's been like that the whole day. Who's oh, hi. I was like, what? I was like, my problem. Yeah, I had. that's the second time I had to shoot him. Crazy man. 
All right, public. Send telegram. All right. It looks like uh, she's a good, badly bruised in the neck. She's, I think needed. she's going to be okay. And Cisco. Monty, enough. Just and the body. You know what? I'll just... Oh, there it is. It's all like... I don't know how to spell. There. I send it out. Monty, do not pick him up, please. I'll give you a piece of bacon. I guess I need to be a little bit... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to be more uh, specific. Gunshot wound. Uh, I just spell victim. I just have to let the Dorothy Wicker was uh, swimming so. All right, I sent a public telegram out for a doctor. Um, where did his body go? Oh, God. Did he just went to sleep? There's no way he just went to sleep. I just called for a doctor and everything. Yeah, pin, right? It's just a pin. Here you go. We'll just say pin. <laughs> Uh, he might have went to sleep. He, uh, when he, or he, he had, what? Yeah, that guy's been feisty with us the whole time. He got. Thanks. Um, all right. Oof, that guy's gonna be reported bad. He was he was mad at something. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot. Well, let me know if we still need the doctor. I mean, right? You're a medic, aren't you? Um, I don't have much experience. I know how to do stitching and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, what about the other guy? So. We should I just like cancel my public telegram I just sent? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that Daxton is going to wake back up. I think uh, he just went to sleep. Yeah. Just give me one moment. Um, He. Such a long word to type out.
Penitentiary. Do I still have bullets in here? Oh, okay, good. No, hand the soup over now. A muddy river. Barber the princess, prison guard. Working towards coming up. Watch me. Okay. Apologies oh. about all of that. Um Kennedy, can I speak with you for a moment? Okay, um, there's a visitation for Armando uh, Tobias Sanders that needs to be processed. Okay, it... But she should not be having this suit. This is not the good suit good. to be having. Good. Okay. I see. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Um, I am going to... I'm probably just gonna go up Valentine and make a report. Oh, we don't have to put you into a solitary to take it from you. Please hand it over. I'll wait Ooh. until after this is resolved, though. Yeah. Um, I'll clock off. I don't. I'm not worried about being clocked off. No, it's all right. We, we, we. I just want the suit. though for us um oh here give her these i did get them for her uh limes i think based on the paperwork i was looking at she's going through some kind of withdrawal or something maybe um she just well, said she's about to be tied up right now so okay um at least you can hold on to them uh you probably see her more than i do um but i told her i would get her some limes she said it was helping with her nausea i don't see a problem with her having them i'm not too fond of giving her anything because she almost killed me but yeah i'll give it to her mm, she almost killed you interesting yeah, she's uh she gave me two cups of opium filled hot chocolate and it almost ended my life okay well then uh fuck that uh, right, they have a melody, can, can you come here melody yeah can you as well I sniff the soup and try to tell me what it is I know you were uh, more trained. Yeah. <laughs> Another day behind the walls. Yeah. I'm gonna send a telegram to that Marcus Church. Is that right? As oh, okay. Has you's ever seen the Sisica dance? I've seen the Sisica dance. Uh, no, I haven't. All right, well, we everybody, you every you's, you's come do down do here. Yeah. You's come down here. We we'll show you the Sisica dance. 
that, that's that's yeah. Uh. Uh, 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 yeah. Hold on one second. Yes. Is that why you want the lime? Is uh. that why you want the lime? Uh. All right. I am clocking out. You guys have the best of luck. <laughs> Wow, you're going to miss the dance. Look at it. <laughs> That's pretty good, guys. Yeah, that's right. Where'd you learn that? That's awesome. Uh, I'll be uh. Oh, she's running. Oh, no, fuck a bit. Oh, no, you you come back. Uh. Bye. Bye. Uh. She's back around the building. Uh. What the hell? All right. Uh, you see her? Oh, she's right here. Hey, please stop. Please stop. Don't. I just need some. You need what? I'm sorry, but I have to tie you up now. Uh, I overheard somebody talking about uh, he's going through struggles. Uh, one of those ladies over there has some lines for. We found uh, her. She, uh, she's... Okay, I'm going to be clocking out though. Okay. All right, you guys be safe. Uh... All right. Oh man, I really have to use the bathroom. I'm gonna go sleep on a tower. Hey, man. Leave Yeah, it's just right there. Can you grab me Melody? Yeah. What do you need? Um, she took some opium. Uh, okay. And if you know how to deal with it, you may, but uh, I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm overwhelmed where, right now. Where did she get it? She got it from one of the newer inmates. Where did they get it? I do not know. I have not looked into it that far okay. yet. Okay. Um, if she took opium, there's not much we can do, but monitor her. Oh. Like, there's nothing to counteract opium. Okay, um, I guess she has to, uh, I guess we have to admit her to the medical ward for now then. Yeah, let's get her unbound. Um, we're going to need to get her on fluids and her body has to ride it out. I hate to put it that way, but. All right. Hello. Oh, you Hi. might just have to. Hey, I'm Muddy Rivers. Uh, today's been a crazy day so far. I just clocked in like maybe 30 minutes ago. Oh, I, well, the, um. Uh. Howdy. What the hell? You left in the middle of our Siska dance. Yeah, uh. I just got the bits off. Sorry about that. You asshole. You try harder. Uh. How about y'all do it again? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, all right. I'm gonna go send the telegram that I'm clocked off. What, what the? 
Oh. All right, we're good to do it. Not yet, not yet, not yet. We're going to do it on the free, okay? All right. <sighs> on the free. One, two, three. Okay. Cousin Monty forgot to dance. <laughs> Cousin Monty's a moron. He's a big moron. Uh, no, I still am with the moat to dance. <laughs> you know, I need to find out if somebody is in Sisaku, because I was told that they were. And we're going to the Reyes. His name is Hedera Steel. He's pointed a gun at me. Oh, oh. is he the Mason? Yeah, he is the Mason guy. He's got to kill me so he gets out of here. I get other Mason. Oh, god damn! Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh, I did it. Uh, That's you guys, are you okay? Oh. Oh man, you're covered in mud now. Ha! I is soup, and I usually have this I have it today. What is your name? My name is Muddy Rivers. Muddy. Oh. Mm -hmm. I like that name. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of muddy rivers back home. Oh, is there? Wow. Oh, you're talking about like actual muddy rivers or just like people muddy rivers? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah people give me a hard time all the time with that. Oh, you must have bad parents or your parents must have hate you because they get named you muddy. And it's like, mm, no, I don't have any problems with it. I like the name. It's a good name. Mm -hmm. I had some pretty good back home. So your name is Soup? Yeah. Okay, and you are Otis? Oh, that's Otis. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Otis. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for uh, being so cooperative earlier. Uh, I appreciate that. Sorry that you got uh, punched in the face, but that guy oh, was just bad. bad news, you know? I was supposed to kill him. Uh, I wanted to... Uh, yes, ma'am. Um... Just so you know, um, we're having a sheriff and I think a marshal yeah, let me see that want to come talk to us. For, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it must. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh what's can name? I? Me? What's your name? Yeah, you. Meredith Connolly. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. I hi. is soup. I think it's a super long heavy day. Good to meet you all. Yeah, these are. This is Soup, that's Otis, and you are Monty, right? Or, or something like that? Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. I think I may have had a relation of yours. Oh, who? Oh. Oh. Um, oh, gosh, what was his name? Oh, <laughs> hey, what's up, yes. man? Everybody? Oh, yeah. you just met Obe? I did. Hey. Well, that's right. Obe's our cousin, you. He is I saw cousin. him earlier today. He, he, told, he told me to meet someone here and all there, and he's been nice. Yep, yep. Okay, um... Yep, yep. Yep. Ms. Ms. Connelly, uh, the, I, I'm just a trainee, so I okay. know nothing about the visitations and stuff like that, but, uh... Do you want me to walk you through it? Uh, I yeah. I can officially train you, but I can certainly show you. Yeah, there's several things I need to touch up on. Uh... You know, if it wasn't for Otis being so kind, uh, he could have just ran right out of the wagon. I tried to tie him up at it to the, you know, tie him to the wagon, and it just, it just didn't work. Oh, cause yeah, that's, that's going to that's sleep. Odd one. All right, let's oh. have a good night. Holler at me Here, if I you want a clip made. Okay. I'll figure it out. All right. Uh, Nobody so, just... I, I know it's happening. He is gonna help you. He is cutting training. Right. Are we still in cousin training? Alright. All right. 
Get out this guy. Oh, there he is. Hi, cousin. How's this? Hi. Alright, so what I need to do is go through mm -hmm. the clips. Right. Keys, search juice for strength. Uh, Use the right. tab menu to the to tie the target's hands behind their back and prevent them from drawing any weapon. Please ensure. Yeah, that. Okay. You can run a wagon and spawn. Turn draft to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it doesn't tell you how to actually tie their hands. You missed it. I just shot somebody. He was being a dickhead in prison. We warned him. So I just shot him down. He was attacking one of my fellow. Uh, I still don't know either. Uh, maybe we scroll. I scroll, lay my head down, uh, and go to creek. Okay. I still um, know. Oh, actually, come up there. Yes. All right. Okay, they're just coming to meet with us. That's fine. I need to make a report anyway. Um. Yes. Um. I said that I'd meet him at the docks. I. Okay. Yeah, we I... can go do that. Uh, do you want to? Maybe the three of us sign us out and we'll go meet them there? Yeah. Or did they say that they're going to go over the docks? I just sent Chamberlain a note that said, please okay. meet us at the docks. Okay. Uh, they... On our way... We'll go, we'll go see. Uh, 06, okay. Yeah, sounds good. I'll get the boat out. Um, Dallas Bride for the telegram. Thank you. <laughs> Doing okay. Oh, wipe out. Oh, zero for two. Try again. I'm gonna be up the in the tower for a second. Okay, I'll show you what the later. Don't don't do it. Two. Yeah, I was like, like, okay, he was already uh. Oh wait, you're not coming with us. Oh, uh, oh, I am. Uh, I mean, like, I wasn't sure she was just gonna. Want all three of us or not? Yeah, she said three of us go. Yeah, we we just went under red, but sure. I have to I have to do the paperwork, but we have a lot going on, so we'll be right back. We're going right. to get some deputies. All right. Uh, okay. Just just back in. So oh, I can right. lock the door. Okay. We'll we'll be right back. Now soup. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I swear to God, soup. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Try again, soup. Try again. Leave. Uh-huh. Uh, right. nope. uh, <laughs> Go on. Oh, it is? You're tired. We don't have turn. all day. Oh, all right. Okay, wonderful. Uh, oh, thank God I got it this time. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, that's gonna be funny. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, someone else lock it. No, you're fine. I'll get it. <laughs> Whew. What a day. Yeah. What happened? Uh. You can't hear me. Oh. Yeah, I'll let her explain it. Okay. Oh, man. You can clip whatever you want, Lana. Uh, you can probably go back through it. it. You should have access to it since you're. Wait, I thought you were a mod, man. Why are you VIP? Okay. Um. Well, we're heading over. Do you mind filling me in on what happened? Yeah. So we have a uh, Frank Faxon in custody. We just went to transport him from Valentine along with uh, Otis Reese and. Uh, Montague Dickinson, the two cousins. Um, okay. He's rather belligerent. Um, I informed him several times that if he fucks around, he's gonna get shot. If he tries to run, he's gonna get shot. Uh, of course, you know, he thinks that he's all big and powerful, so his response was, yeah, I wanna die, shoot me, whatever. Uh, uh, so, you. you know, I just Figured I took a policy of ignoring him most of the transport yeah, because well, he's one of those have, folks uh, that really just wanna be heard. You're a mod and, down okay. uh, planet. 
when he got here, um, he decided to continue to be belligerent, so Captain yeah, Remy no uh, decided to order him to go out <laughs> to the fields, so I was assisting Remy with that, and he wasn't listening, of course, so I continued to order him to go out to the fields. Uh, suddenly, he wanted to go to bed after being an asshole for, you know, a half hour. And, oh, it's uh, funny how that works. Uh-huh, yeah, so I told him that he's not going to have any bed right now, that he, you know, needs to walk through the gates. And he said, you need to die, and decided to try to choke me. Yeah, no problem, man. I'll go back hands. and see if I can huh. uh, find the shooting. Okay. Well, you look wonderful for being dead. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> So yeah, um, then you know he was shot, okay. obviously. Um, that does happen. And uh, while he was, you know, rolling around in the bush over there, he just decided to disappear and go to sleep. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure that'll get sorted out. Never yeah, those there. things tend to get sorted out one way or another. I'm very curious what they want to talk to us about. Well, I'm not sure. Apparently they were bringing a third. Mm -hmm. Do we have different paperwork to do if people are visiting us? Uh, I'll look. I have okay. a shit ton of paperwork to do about this whole ordeal. I haven't done it. Yeah, we want. also need to place in red right now. We're in red, but I need to place this actually in red. Oh, okay. Fantastic idea pending what I'm about to tell y'all. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have a Frank Faxton who uh, just, you know, fell asleep oh. with a few gunshot wounds in him, so welcome aboard. He just tried to kill oh. me. I need to make a report, so uh, welcome. Oh. <laughs> I, did, sure did you actually to. come to pick us up? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic. Oh, oh, I bet you didn't okay. see the last telegram I sent. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm sorry. No, I... we just... no, that's okay. Yeah, Um, just to avail you guys on the situation, uh, we have a Frank Faxon who, you know, um, rolled over with a few gunshot wounds and is sleeping in a bush right now. Uh, no one can oh. find him. Yeah, uh, so we'll see if he decides to just magically wake up from his little bush nap. Um, he tried to murder me and a few of the other guards choked me out. Um, he's been a real, he's been a real prince, you could say. But other than that, oh, we man. have Montague Dickinson, and we have Barney Soup. Never mind, the current have, VOD uh, doesn't Otis show Reese up. Right now, they're awake in Sissica, but they've been oh, rather it's, unproblematic. It's not publish it, um, even they hate It Frank. won't let me publish it until after stream. Yeah. I don't put it on so automatic. What? I think the deputies from Central arrested him. The other time, and he was, uh, yeah, he's a handful. <sighs> yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I get tired of the, wonderful. Five minutes ago. the whole I have message nice, of, you know, black and blue bruise necklace now, DMC so messages saying, charge. oh, about this, about this, so Those I just turned things. it off, and I published it myself. Yeah. The blue ones or the free of charge ones? <laughs> no, it's settings. It's okay. settings. I can't be there. <sighs> And then we also have a Maya Sampson um, in. I wouldn't call her awake right now. Um, she got her hands on a bit of opium. I'm not sure how. Apparently from another prisoner, and she's overdosed herself. So she's getting put on fluids and getting admitted to the medical ward right now by uh, Watchman Kennedy. Uh -huh. I don't think okay. we have any other. Command awake. Besides, we have Watch Captain Remy, so you know uh, we can collect mm -hmm. him to speak. Perfect. I'm gonna say nothing. That's the sheriff right there. One of the sheriffs, or maybe she's under sheriff. I think she's sheriff. The lady in the in the front with the red hair. You wake yet, Rose? I'm getting there. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like some nice fresh lake air. I don't know if it goes uh, yes. from this side. I think it does.
I don't. Does it go through? We're gonna find out. I think. I don't think it does. Yeah. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. You yeah, can, sure you it does. Just a little... See? Just a little shallow. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Just a little shallow. Oh god. Just holding your belly. Oh. Oh, oh. Honestly, this is almost a better idea than going straight in and having to back all the way the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, actually, <laughs> relatively well. I'm impressed. That was a really good turn as well. Before not sure that's gonna work prisons, in the summertime, we made, we but it works fine um, now. Yeah. So Watch far, Captain Bride, long, long you're, time ago. Uh, you know, welcome to let the warden know that uh, I am managing this fucking chaos. Oh. How, how, how have we never thought about that before? Of all the transports to Sisica I did before the Department of Prisons was founded, we've never did- Oh my god, I feel so dumb. We well, always just disastrous. struggled and turned the boat around. This was before oh they gave us those small steamboats. Shut up, room. No one caught it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We do have to search, y'all. Oh, yep. Okay. Sorry. You're yeah, right. Yeah, I'm sorry, I wasn't used to that. I apologize. Our great and holy Jeez. procedures. Okay. Um, yeah, anything you need to take, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay, what exactly? Close on your weapons. Um, of course. And, uh, don't yeah. hand them out. Yeah. yeah uh, all good. Same here. Just be careful. <laughs> okay. You're good. Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, you're good. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, I was waiting for him to get roped up. Damn it. <laughs> I, I sincerely hope so... not. I never have okay, interesting it looks like someone put up the red signs. All right, everyone Unlocked. to the chamber. Welcome to the One Star Resort. You are getting the uh, full horror experience today. You will be trapped in here until there we go. Okay. I call the dirt. <laughs> and we got New Butcher's Creek on our right. Oh, they actually have a roof now instead of a cave. It doesn't seem as chaotic as it, I guess, was. What, did everybody go to bed? <laughs> I, I, I knew I was coming. I was like, pretty much. Over the walls, like, that. oh shit. <laughs> they, they, they scattered, they were like, hell no, I'm out of here. <laughs> I... Let me uh, check my letters real quick, and then I can talk to y'all about this. Uh, I sent that on the sheriff's line, whatever. It's been That's that kind fine. of a day. I'm gonna see where That's Remy not. is. Yeah. Remy. We have a crew of deputies to speak with all of us. Not sure about all what right. yet. How is it? Uh, so, I guess technically with this visit, I'm going to be requested a tour of the island, and I'll tell you why. So, um, we've had an informant from the militia. Right now, we refer to him as John Doe. Uh -huh. We met with him tonight. Um, this is about the second or the third meeting. And he expressed within the last, well, since Sunday, the shootout with the Henry Steele was Saturday. And on Sunday... Romley Steele, Del Hallett, and fuck on the last one. 
last there's another third person there along with John Doe um, had a meeting and in this meeting they were coming up with ideas on how they're going to break Mr. Henry Steele out of Sisica. Uh, one of them was kidnapping Marshal Petra Blackheart and forcing her to send a telegram uh, to Siska to express her wishes for Henry Steele to be released or else. Um, another was kidnapping the governor and using him as a leverage in order to get Henry Steele back. But the final one, and the reason we're here, is Dale Halleck knows the blind spots on this island. And she suggested the, the idea they most likely will go with um, is taking a posse of four people on a boat around the north side of the island where the fog is heavy and there are the least amount of towers in order to get in the island and break Henry Steele and only Henry Steele out and then leave. So we want to, me and Bruce specifically want to just get an eye on that spot just so we know for future purposes because evidently it's, uh, you know, it's the right kind of spot. And then obviously we're here to let y'all know as well. All right. That, um, that is the fine. North uh, she said, I think it was insinuated north, but something around the back side of the island where the fog gets heavy. A pair back to the, the north is where all the towers are. That's why I'm confused. Okay, so maybe not the north. No, they probably. Oh, it's probably no. Yeah, said it's coming side. from the north, and then you know looping around. Yeah, coming. Yeah, coming yeah. in from the north, taking the boat. Probably coming around the east side. All right. Um. Yeah, we can give you a tour. Um. Yeah. Not a problem. So I'll probably send a letter to Olive as well, and have a link oh, yes. about this. But figured I might as well come and let y'all know because you, you know, no work here too. So I'm sure you've seen more of Henry Steele than I have. I've not seen him recently, no. Anyone want to take a part of the tour, or no? I can come with you. I've been, uh, yeah, I talked I can to him join. yesterday, actually. Alright. Alright, then we can all go then. Let's, uh... Okay. Let's go then, whenever you guys are ready. I think we're ready. Yep. Okay, You're so right. then we yep. can Euros. start with the courtyard, you know, the basics courtyard. Over there is uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Letterman. Uh, he send you letters for you. Over there is Mr. Brickman, who will um, give you food if you're hungry and whatnot. I can show you towers if um if that, if that makes it a lot easier for you as well. well. Let's do, can we go around the outside and walk it? Yeah. So we can see it. Yeah. If they come around the north to the east side. Okay. Yep. I don't know which tour guide to follow. No, oh, you're fine. You can follow Remy. <laughs> Do you want me to show you how to fill out the visitation paperwork? Uh, yeah, I think I need, yeah, because uh, I haven't gone over any of the details. Okay, well, this one's a little weird, but I can show it to you. Um, okay. Like, I read up what's in the handbook and stuff, right? But I actually haven't done it to put it into practice. Yeah. Uh, again, I can't officially train you, but I can show you. Okay. Sounds good. Wondering if it was like a um, side Okay, right so if you look this card right here. Um... Just tear it off the bottom of the template. Do you know okay. how it works? Uh, yeah, yeah. You're talking about, uh, yeah. I, don't, I think I know what you're talking about. I have... We have the the stack of templates, and then um, So down at the bottom, there's the one that I just wrote on. Up at the top, it says Trish Chamberlain, Darian, Ruben, Rose Smith.
Are you seeing that? Uh, I'm seeing the alert level being red. Okay, it's uh, in the next next stack all the way at the bottom. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. So if you look at that one, um, mm -hmm. Al, do you, you know how to make uh, start a new report based off of the template? Uh, no, I haven't really covered that at all. Okay, so um, on top of the file where we put our like the, the reports that are in progress, Mm -hmm. There's one that says visitation approved. You see that one? Uh, let me look. Hold on. Well, above that it says visitor M8 and then the date and then the year. You talking about that one? That one, yeah. So if oh, you okay. one of those up. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see it says on that first sheet that it's a template, but if you look up at the top, there's um, you can make a new card based off of that template. Okay. And when you do that, then you will write in visitor inmate and then the date, and then you'll pull that card out of the stack, and it will create one at the bottom where mine is. Oh, okay. I see that. All right. So that's how that works. Um and then down on the card that I was working on mm -hmm. for visitor, you're going to put the visitor's name. Usually there's only one, but everybody's name and then who they're visiting. In this case, they're visiting us. And then the date. Um, and then um, as you look down the page, there's going to be oh, a visionary. Good to see you again. Place for you to write your name. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I see. I As the, the same watch thing. file and report. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to write their visitor's names oh, yeah. again, Essentially, and then yeah. you make so, the same again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, my standard visitations are an hour. So, you know, their approved time slot is going to be from the time they get here to an hour after. Okay. And then you're going to write down when they arrive, and then for these folks, I don't know when they're going to leave. But well. whenever they leave, you write down. And, okay. Um, I can unlock that one too. I didn't know you if they were going make up sure or down. you're specific about uh, what time it is. Right. Some people keep their clocks to others, um, but we're in Eastern time at the prison, so. Okay. And then farther down, there's the reason for the visit, and then if you deny it, I've never had to deny one. There's not very uh, many reasons to. Um, you'll write why you deny them. Um, and then I actually think that that bit at the bottom that says criminal charges is left over from something else, but I don't, that's not my problem, so I, I don't make it my problem. Oh, uh, okay, let's see. If applicable, oh, okay, yeah, 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 all right, I get it. Um, and then I'm going to keep that one in the uh, in the, the file for work in progress because I don't know what's going to come of this visit. Um, but usually mm -hmm. then you would just go up and put it in the stack for finished visitation requests. Um, uh, is that after they leave? You will put it up there? Yeah, that's usually when I do it. Oh, okay. Okay. Just to, to keep track of everyone who comes and goes. Um Well, that sounds simple enough. I think it, okay. It is. It's it's pretty straightforward. There's just a lot of different uh, templates you can use. We use them for different things, and then there's lots of files, lots of cabinets, but it ain't really that complicated. Okay. Do I need to? I mean, I see all these other reports. That's mainly for hi uh, higher high command, right? Something like that. Pretty much. Um, in that first stack that you see when you walk in. Um, mm -hmm. underneath the alert level banner. Um, it's probably a good idea to read those 
if you have some time, just to get an idea of what's going on. Oh, okay. And then sometimes if I'm bored, I read others. But for the most part, this is for record keeping and for command. And particularly for visitation, it's it lets you keep track of, like, if something happens, mm -hmm. you might be able to trace back, you know, where contraband came from or what. Oh, okay. I see. So, like, in this so it's, case... It's really, it's a paper trail for everything. Hmm. So, like, that lady that took some opium, there might be a paper trail for where she got it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Are there any other questions I can answer? Like, yeah. I can't, I can't sign you off on anything, but I have worked here for a little bit. Okay, yeah, about that wagon thing. They were sitting up in the wagon, and, you know, I used, uh, I was thinking about the wheel, and mm -hmm. I put restrain on it. Mm -hmm. I wanted to restrain them, um, and I thought it, I thought I tied it, uh, tied him to the wagon, but apparently he, w he said he wasn't tied the whole entire time. Or was he just joshing with me, or was it? Um, you might have to ask somebody else about that, as far as I know. You just tie him to the um, sideboards. Um, I don't know if there's a more secure way to do that that I'm unaware of. Okay, so h how do you do it? Is it the same way? No, I just tie a knot. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. I see what you're getting. Yeah. Okay. But it that will be worth asking somebody else. Um, okay. Just in case. I haven't actually done a lot of transports, and the one I have, I've, I've kind of just been there. So. All right. Well, thank God he was honest. I mean, shit, I would look a little suspicious. I, yeah, most, most people are relatively decent. I have got a note I need to send. If Oh, yeah. If you have any other questions, I'm happy to answer them, but you'll have to follow me. <laughs> Uh, I can't think of any. Okay. I think the rest is just trial and error. Most of it is. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no, let's lean back. God darn it. Um, the reason why I didn't go with the tour is because I play Dallas Cobb, which is part of the Amberino Militia, and I didn't want to hear in whatever they had to say because then out of character, I would know how they were going to defend it, and yeah, it would have been just metagaming, you know what I mean? And I don't want a metagame. That's a no no. <laughs> I had to shoot that dude. I wasn't going to take any chances. I would have just, just started swinging fists, but he escalated. He was already throwing fists and everything, so I was just going to take the next level. I could have roped oh, them. Oh, good lord. Why do we have a transport now? Oh, okay. Um, <sighs> I'm going to go find them because it's three people. Oh, I see them. And we'll uh, it out. They're over there looking out on the fields on top, on the on the wall. I see him over there. What? 
You're talking about Remy and them, right? Yes. They're up there on the wall, looking out on the fields. Oh, there they are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Captain. We got three folks in strawberry. Thank you. I think three's all right. All right. Enjoy your transport, guys. Oh. All right. Brad's coming with us. Oh, okay. I've also been out on medical leave for about a month, so I'm I'm also a little out of practice. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, my first day was on Friday, and. Oh. Mox <laughs> yeah, Moxie uh, showed me around. There was a, a surprising. It was very quiet. You know, only a few prisoners woke up. You know. Yeah. We Moxie's did must. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did he get the captain promotion after all? Uh, I think so. I'm not. Yeah, because uh. I don't keep track of that. The warden told me not to tell Moxie I see him. <laughs> <laughs> when she was doing the interview. <laughs> How you feeling? You feeling any better? So much better. Okay. So much better. Just send in a telegram. Yeah, you're good. Well, she says she's feeling better. But I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Another trip into the land, guys. good they came to ask about a, a you know breakout attempt and Remy's like here's the letter man and I'm like that's not I don't think <laughs> yeah, that's not I, what they want to know but okay <laughs> I'm not just funny um yeah I guess I just kind of leaving that to him. He's a watch captain, so I guess he'll have yeah. to elevate that to Duke and Olive and Evelyn, right. and they'll decide. I guess I'm not entirely sure why they didn't just ride us. It's not like they're going to be here if somebody tries to break somebody out. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that. Um, I would understand if they want to talk to the warden, but I don't know what it's going to do too much for them to just come to the island and see it. It doesn't hurt, it just seems like a misuse of their time. <laughs> yeah.
And um, I guess I'll say, being aware that it sounds a little strange, I talked to Mr. Steele the other day and he seemed to have no interest in breaking out. Uh, I think he's probably looking at life and or the firing line, so it wouldn't surprise me. I suppose. Because he's in for treason. If the charges stick, I guess. Yeah. Sounds like his wife is incredibly intelligent and is getting very desperate. If they only knew. <laughs> If they only knew. Seems like we keep making people desperate and they keep doing stupid things. What do you mean by we make them? I guess I'm talking about two different things when I say that. That's fair. Just curious. I don't, the camera doesn't what do you mean in the government at, at large? Judicial system, law enforcement, etc. People feel like they can't do things, they can't change things, and then they do things that they wouldn't otherwise do. Um, I mean, if you, uh, you know, basically say, fuck the government and I'm gonna overthrow it, it tends to happen. I don't know. The other one is that woman and whatever it was she was taking. Um, Maya Sampson, she took Is that opium. Her name? Yeah. Yeah. I just. She's an addict. Um, and. People take uh, medicines for a reason. <laughs> well, people abuse medicines too. She's been abusing medication uh, for a long time. So she's an addict and she was in an active detoxification process. I think that's a very strange assumption to make, is what I mean. Oh, it's not an assumption. It is. What do you mean? I've gotten into a lot of trouble bringing this up with somebody else, so I'm gonna stop talking before I do that no, again. I mean, I'm sorry. No, no. I'm, I'm not trying to... I'm just kind of curious what you're talking about. Um, it's not an assumption, it's... I don't get the impression that anybody is taking the time to figure out why she takes it. I mean, some people take laudanum for their entire lives because it helps them live their lives. Sure. And I don't think I've ever heard of somebody assuming that taking any kind of medicine is a, a problem. Uh, it is when you kill someone with it. Well, that's not taking medicine. That's poisoning somebody. She's poisoning people with the same thing she's taking. Oh, we carry guns and people shoot people all the time. But... Okay. It just seems like an assumption that the law sh probably shouldn't make. That's a, a doctor's problem. I'm kind of curious what the assumption is, though. I mean... That she doesn't need it. I didn't say she doesn't need it. She's just not permitted it because it's contraband. I think she... It could help her manage her uh, symptoms of uh, relapse, absolutely. But the problem is that she's Opium is contraband in Sisica, so she's not permitted it. So because of that, we have to help her detox through other methods. I don't think it's really a question of her not needing it. I mean, if she takes it, it's not illegal to take it. There's a lot of things people take and they don't need or they take it for their mental well-being. I, I don't judge that. People drink alcohol because they just want to relax. That's not a medication, you know. People get addicted to that, but, but OBM the is problem is, is, is a medicine. Uh, yeah, it is, um, but it's still contraband. So she could be given morphine, um, but the problem is, is with her addictive condition, um, the morphine could help her hurt. Seems like all we're doing is hurt. That's. Mm. She killed Watchman Kennedy, so... The only reason that Kennedy is alive is because she was resuscitated. I suppose I just don't have a lot of uh, sympathy for that. Oh. It's 
why I don't bring it up. Oh, it's okay. You're not wrong. Um, I just, you know, I have a differing opinion on it. It's not necessarily wrong. It's just... I think there's a lot of people that do a lot of bad things that, you know, are otherwise very nice or cordial or, you know, can seem very harmless. I think that's why she hurts so many people is because she seems so harmless. Okay. Where is it we pick up the wagons from here? I, I've only ever gone to Copperhead. Oh, there's a guy right here in the, uh... Yep. Yeah. Right inside the door on the left there. Alright. Guess we're doing... Strawberry. Strawberry, yep. Okay. <laughs> Guess we're doing this again, huh? Yeah. Busy day. I still haven't finished the uh, other transport report. One of you is going to have to take this paperwork. Just to spread the load out. Alright. Okay. Alright, let me fill my water up. You ever met Gail Harper? Uh, briefly, in the last shift. Otherwise, I haven't spoken to him much personally. Fair enough. Also, I was just thinking we probably should have went to Blackwater, but that's okay. It's probably faster to take the wagon than the boat all the way over to Blackwater. Yeah. Usually, when I've gone to Strawberry before, we went over to Copperhead. Yeah. Over, but eh. we'll get there when we get there. I was just saying the other day that I'd had a, a, a rush of very boring chips. <laughs> and now this is like insanely busy. Yeah. I guess we could transport back through Blackwater. I didn't even think to go there. Um, I guess. We could get Mariner to drive, it'd be faster. Yeah, tend not to use the Mariner uh, only in, you know, cases that maybe people request it. Fair enough. Thank God they're going out. Every now and then you come through here and there's another wagon coming through the other <laughs> way and it's a whole nightmare. Yeah. It's a whole negotiation of, you know, who's gonna... <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna give in. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a moment on our way. Yeah, you're good. So, um, that was Trish mm -hmm. Tra uh, Chamberlain? That, wait, yeah. Isn't she, like, sheriff or undersheriff or something? Uh, yes, she's a sheriff. Oh, so her and John Reed share the role of a sheriff, huh? I believe there's supposed to be three of them. Oh, I see. Okay. One for each east, west, and central districts. Well, that makes sense. That was the first time I've ever seen her. Yeah, first time I've met her as well.
So, uh, who were those other two guys from earlier? One had a, I guess a goatee, and the other one had like long gray hair with a, I guess a beard on. I think Armando Alvarado was probably one of them. Um, I don't know what he's in for or anything. He's the one that had the visitation. At Melody processed that while we did the transport. Oh, okay. And, uh, I don't know who the other was. quite the bush apparently yeah <laughs> Woo. i was doing so good <laughs> <laughs> it's so much easier when you're not following piper <laughs> oh yeah i was kept like sir sir oh. so excuse me um oh, Lord. <laughs> I, I was kept one like worrying that i was gonna run her over because she kept like zigzagging in front of the wagon yeah Should we go fast and slow down? Oh, DOP coming through. DOP. Thank you. Check my HUD. Actually, no. Leave it on, so I know how uh, loud I'm talking. Uh, is that shallow enough? I don't want to. I think I don't want to find the, out. You took the wrong. wrong yeah, I, I don't want to find out if that's shallow nope. enough. I know it's just over here where it's. I know it's shallow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't really feel like rehitching the horses right now because they all. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to have to rehitch the horses. <laughs> Be... Oh, he was going the other way. Never mind. This is such a cute little town. It's a shame I only come here to pick people up. It is a nice place. 
Okay, I'm gonna back it up in here. It's like one speed forward, man. <laughs> there we go. That was impressive. Yeah, I think uh... here. We just went around. <laughs> oh, you could have put it, pulled that off. <laughs> Arked it. Wow. Is that DOP? Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Sure okay. Um, so we got a bit of a situation. Okay. Oh, Situations okay. Situations are my specialty. Um, you, don't, you don't even need to bother going in. Uh, but while, while we're on the way, um, they uh, picked the lock and choked okay. me and uh, escaped. Oh, okay. God. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Um, who was it? Raylan Pyre, Iris Burke, and Tad Cameron. Okay. So, I'm writing up their paperwork right now. Sorry to bring all that Yeah, no. Nothing. It's okay. No, it's okay. Yeah. Um, can okay. I get Are you all right? Drink, eat. Um, no, I'm just going to send a telegram. I'm not sure. I, I hear them. that, so. Um, mentally. Four, physically a six, and emotionally at a ten. Okay. I feel like my uh, my kindness and my um, like all the genuineness uh, I've showed them over the months I've known them just kind of got shoved in the dirt and stomped on. So yeah. Do you have a stove inside? Uh, I think so. No, but y'all can come in. Uh, don't let me keep y'all out of here. Y'all can come in if you want. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate you that. Want some tea? Sure. Oh, sorry. No, you can go in. Nope. You can go in. No, it's okay. Um, I just sent a telegram, so we're good to go. Okay. Alright. Um, I got choked out too today, so, you know, we can, oh, we can be buddies. So, yeah. Got a nice, um, you know, free black and blue necklace from a uh, good lovely. Frank Faxton. Um, <laughs> yeah, what a name. Um, yeah, um, I'm Creedy, okay. by the way. Uh, I'm sure you've heard many things about me, and they're all so lovely. Um, yeah, I uh, hope you all have a good day. And Sounds good. Well, I guess, and if anything else uh, comes about, I'll let y'all know. Of course. Uh, okay. Sorry again for getting all hauled out here. I was literally hey, no worries. Here, so, yeah. ah, it's okay. Thank you for... Uh... Let us know and be safe. Yeah, of course. Watch right away. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the tea. Y'all have a good one. On be careful, you. please. Yep, me too. Run away. Poor guy. Well. Guess we're back on the trail. Yeah. Yeah. And he's really I'm sounded cool. down. He's finishing so reports upset. and clocking out when we get back. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just sounded so defeated. I feel bad. Yeah, I'm finishing reports and clocking out when I get back. If I can help with any of your paperwork, let me know, but I wasn't around for most of it. Yeah. I just, uh,. I'm finishing the paperwork for the previous transport, and I have to do a behavior log, and then I'm just going to send my statement to church in a letter. Okay. Make it easier. DOP yeah, coming so. through. Um, do I need to do anything, like, for that incident that occurred? No, you're good. I got the paperwork. Okay. Um, did he hurt anyone else? No, I shot him right afterwards. Well, he went after, I think, Otis? Or maybe he was Monte. I think this is the wrong way. 
Oh, we're going to Blackwater. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the right way. You're good. But as soon as he grabbed Otis, or Monte, I... Who's the one that shot him when he was grabbing me? Uh, that, I don't know, because... Just a general... Uh, you can just probably say that I just shot every... Shot them all. All the shots. No, it, not for paperwork. Um, just, uh, general... I don't know who it was, but we just need to be careful about, um, gunfire around when inmates are very close to, uh, other people. Oh, okay. It might have yeah, been like Piper. But... Earlier, well, yeah, like, earlier, um, you shouldn't have really fired your gun. You could have easily just have shot Piper. Um, whoever shot him when he was choking me out, um, you know, could have very, very easily shot me. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. So, okay. yeah. Um we shouldn't we shouldn't be firing our guns in proximity to other watchmen like that. So, so it's okay because everyone's fine, so it's not the end of the world. Uh but we can just, you know, kind of use it as a learning lesson. Um if that's happening, uh, go beat him, you know, pistol with him. Uh hit, hit him with the rifle, rope him, um but don't don't use gunfire when they're within, you know, a foot or less of someone else because it's, you know, guns don't aim that well, and it's very, very easy to just accidentally, you know, shoot someone else that you didn't mean to. Okay. Wow, they changed this town up. Oh, Haven't yeah, been here in a long time. Office. On the left there. Yeah, they weren't they building. Oh, I guess they were building the doctor's office last time I came here. Something's going on. Curious. Ooh. Wow, they moved the, the sheriff's office and everything? No, that's always been there. Well, they built a new one, right? Or something? No. It's still the one on the corner. Oh, okay. What is that place right there? Doctor's office. Oh, you mean the building and the tents are doctor's office now? Well, the building's a doctor's office, the tents. I, I think those are just builders oh okay other transient folk i'm not sure i never come out here i i don't get out of sand any very often oh i just had to rinse myself off real quick <laughs> i just finally get warm so all right Put that back.
Holy cow, did you see the size of that fish? I didn't. I didn't either. Really? Yeah, it was on our left side, but it's gone now. practically see my house from here where yeah. do you live the fisherman's hut he lets me stay there from time to time not sure i know where that is but yeah it's right there on the shore if you look uh towards the shooting tree not entirely sure what that is either uh it's that big tree on top of the hill in the heartlands. Yeah, the you can see it, right? Oh. That direction. Like I said, I don't really leave the city all that much. I probably should, but... <laughs> there was somebody who was going to show me around, so... Well, he went and disappeared. The way that people do. Yeah. They come and go, huh? Yeah. Mostly go. I just never figured out what what it's that. Is that like Mexico or something? Uh I think so. So, uh, who's this Henry Steele character guy? He is the a leader, though it sounds like his wife might be more the brains and he's just more the uh, appearance but uh, of the free state of Amberino, or what is attempting to be the free state of Amberino? Uh, Basically, they want to secede from the nation. Oh, well, that's stupid. So, they put tons of posters up at the post offices, and uh, they're basically hired an entire militia and drafted a whole militia, like made them sign contracts and everything like they're an official government. And uh, they kind of said, like, we want to do things on our own, and we want to do things our own way. And, uh, you know, fuck New Alexandria, leave us alone. Um, but it sounds like the local residents of Amberino decided are, uh, aren't exactly in support of it, which is kind of interesting, um, that he just kind of claimed a bunch of areas that the locals that live in those areas don't want to secede from the nation. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I wonder how that works. <laughs> earning a lot of hearts and minds, no. They've also uh, been part of a rather violent string of interactions. More or less kind of act like a gang. So is he one to keep an eye on? I mean, like, when he's awake and stuff like that? I have never met Not him. Not really. I just know of him. I I don't mean violent as in, like, uh, Frank Faxon. I mean, like, violent as in gang violent. Mm. So pretty much whenever he... He was benign and decent. Yeah. I don't really think you need to worry about him slitting your throat. Oh, okay. So pretty much he's harmless when he's by himself. Well, I there's think he's a... got a very specific idea of the way the world should be. Yeah. But he doesn't blame us for living in it. 
um, there's a difference between criminals that are criminals or violent, and then there's, you know, people like Frank Faxon that are just violent for violence's sake. Mm-hmm. Everybody's got their own rules. It's mm-hmm. a matter of figuring out what they are. And... And Bruno people are still human. They're just uh, caught up in a lot of pride and trouble right now. Yeah. The gang life, the criminal life can be extremely enticing. Especially when uh, folks feel a sense of family or camaraderie. Is there uh, anybody that is in prison right now that I should worry about or anything like that? Uh, Maya Sampson has attacked a few guards. She hasn't been aggressive toward me, um, but I've been told that she attacked a few guards. Obviously, Frank Faxton. Uh, Butcher's Creek tends to cause trouble, but I haven't experienced them, you know, really being violent against guards too much. Um, they will tackle or push, uh, so, you know, if they're coming at you, you know, lay down the law, of course. Don't let them push you around, but there's no one, you know, particularly just heinously violent, probably, besides Frank Faxton. Okay. Most people do things that make sense to them, which is terrifying yeah. in a lot of situations, mm-hmm. but there's usually some kind of logic to it, and it's a matter of learning what it is. Beautiful country out here. Mm-hmm. Last year, I held a tournament on that casino boat over there. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, spent a lot of money. <laughs> Setting everything up. Oh my god! But uh, I'm hoping to build up more money this for this year. Now that I know there's Texas Hold'em in the state, not just blackjack. could get the hang of cards. I think most people prefer blackjack because it's simpler. Mm-hmm. And the only thing was uh, a lot of people went to a wedding at the same time I held the tournament, but still people showed up. I think the prize money enticed them. I needed a reason to start all over. I figured, why not make myself broke and give me a reason to start working again? <laughs> so I spent over $6,500 for the event. Oh, and if y'all ever need uh, horse food, like hay, wild carrots, apples, don't hesitate to ask. I got plenty of that. Oh, um, yeah, I still. I thoroughly appreciate more snacks, but he's getting a little fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still have my business going on. Uh, Rivers food for your horse. So, yeah, just reach out to us anytime. I definitely that sounds will. good.
It's official. Mm. I hate voting mm. from Blackwater. <laughs> I officially vote wagon from Bla from Blackwater. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't we take the Mariner? That just dawned on me. I I was gonna ask that, but then you got him to pull the boat around, and I felt it, bad. Yeah, I it it just didn't dawn on me because I'm so used to like boat, 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 because I'm so used to having prisoners with us. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. It's all good. It's you know, it was a lovely trip. I lovely it. little break. <laughs> Good old Saint Denis. Oh, sorry, sir. We didn't see you Mariner fishing there. <laughs> okay. Mariner, save us. <sighs> I'm clocking out once we get back. Life of a prison guard. I oh, oh, okay. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were struggling with the door. You got it? Uh, yeah, I got it. Howdy. How's it up by you? Oh, uh, eventful. Oh, what, why? Well, apparently, somebody tried to kill somebody else this morning. Man. Uh, there's a Frank Axton in here. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful name. Um, decided to try to choke me out. Uh, fell asleep in a bush. So, just, yeah, be careful of him. Um, other than that, there's a few Butcher Creek cousins, but they're just kind of goofballing so oh i see and then we I'm went all the way to strawberry <laughs> to meet a man who said very sadly that the people he had in custody had broken out oh i see i see huh mm -hmm. other than that uh, it's, it's a long way to strawberry from here oh it is <laughs> it's beautiful though Yes. Yeah, let me just check. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm guessing he's the only one awake, huh? Let's see his one. I get to see if they actually finished the paperwork or if I have to guess when they left. God damn it. Uh, well, what about uh, Remy whenever you clocked out? That can kind of give you an idea of the time they left. Oh, that's a very good point. Thank you. At about 11.15. I'll write 11.15. And yeah. Why does it have all kinds of red? See that? On this hat? Is that from the graphics? Or, I mean, or is that actually on his hat? Because here it looks all solid black, but then here it has some red spots. Must be something on my, my end. Now, I need to make sure that let's say I get visitor it doesn't say anything about visitation. Um, now, you said that the transport with the Frank. Yes. It was me, Mel me, Melody, and Piper. And that was today? Yes. That was uh, when I first clocked in. Oh my God. That was about, what, four hours ago, I say? I'm just going to put the date on the top because whoever did it forgot to write it. Okay. Um,. Is there something else I need to do whenever uh, somebody, like, let's say I get a visitor. Um, you said something about the card, but um, is there something manually I have to do other than that? Um, you mean like the procedure for accepting visitors? Mm hmm Yeah. Um, well, usually they telegram, so meet them at the docks. Um, usually you search people when they're still at the docks, so if they have anything they can't bring over, they can just put it with their horse or whatever. Um, okay. So search them when they're at the docks, and then um, you can either bring them over yourself or have the mayor to bring the both of you over. Okay. Now, do I need to do anything before I let the mariner bring them over? You will have to give them a ticket. So you'll ask um, Mr. Mariner for one ticket and oh one, yeah, yeah yeah and then you will hand that ticket to whoever's coming with you okay you now what what about the the snipers and stuff how, how do i tell them to uh they to... Um, they only care about the prisoners oh okay i see yeah so other people can come here prisoners just can't leave okay um, yeah so so they won't get any trouble from that and then when they're here um, you don't need to hover around them, but it is procedure for them to stay somewhere within eyesight 
um, and if you're particularly concerned that, like if they if they don't seem particularly friendly towards whoever they're visiting, people visit for all sorts of reasons. Um, keep an eye on them. Okay. Tell them they have an hour, and then when the hours up, kick them off. Okay. Oh, okay. one other thing that I don't know if this is technically in procedure, but I always do is ask the person who is being visited before you accept the visitation. Because I've, I've had people um, ask to visit someone, and then when I talk to them, they say that they don't want to talk to whoever wants to visit them, and I will say, sorry, they don't want to talk to you. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, that makes sense, yeah. That just, to me, that seems like common decency, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You know. Mm. Yeah. I can't really think of a, anything else. I think for the most part, as long as you don't get caught up in the job so much that you forget that the people you're dealing with are people, whatever mistakes they've made. Right. Um, you'll do just fine. Okay. Well, I can't really boast about myself too much because at one time I was a prisoner here. So I have no right to judge people. That's probably a good thing. Yeah. Makes the job easier. It means you know what people are dealing with. Yeah. And you, I would hope at least have some empathy. I do. Yeah. But, uh... I think, I think that's the thing people forget first. Honestly. Yeah. Uh, I, haven't I don't have... Too very long, but... I mean, I do have people that I don't think I would want to spend any time with, regardless of situation, and giving them power over other people doesn't seem like a good idea. Yeah. It's like, I have empathy, but I don't show too much because I don't want them to walk all over me. You know what I mean? I think it's pretty easy to tell who's going to take advantage of your kindness or not. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so uh, like the cousins, they, uh, they were nice. They were nice enough. So I was like, pretty, you they're, know what? <laughs> I don't think they're capable of malice because I don't think they're clever enough to know what it is. And if possible, I don't say that as an insult. Right, right. I mean, I know. I think truly that they just do things and they don't go much past doing it. And you, but you can deal with that. That's not that's not an impossible thing to deal with. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have shot that guy. Melody was right. I was not. I don't think I understood what was going on. But usually, if somebody's within about ten feet of wherever you're shooting, don't shoot. Yeah. See, there was. We were over there by the gate. Leading out to the field because uh, Melody, Piper, they were leading that, I forgot his name, Frank or whatever his name is, a hostile guy that was there. And, uh, yeah. and he started choking out Melody, or I don't know if they were, I don't know if she was getting punched or she was getting choked out. And then, and I think Piper... I heard the gunshot, to tell you the truth. And I think the Piper sh shot him first, and then that's when me and... There was another person here. I forgot her name. So, uh, well, we went around the corner, we went over there, and Melody was passed out on the ground, from what I saw. And that same Frank guy went after, um, uh, I think Otis it was. And so, pointed at him, and then I was like, hey, stop, and he wouldn't stop, so I just fired. Whenever you get your your combat training, which I am wholly unqualified to even begin with, um, if you're close enough to somebody, hit him with the uh, grip. It's, you miss less. Okay. Yeah, that, I mean, there it, it wasn't just Otis there, either. It was... His other two cousins, 
uh, soup and monte. So, but yeah, yeah I, I guess I shouldn't have fired with people being surrounded. That's you okay. know, yeah. That happens. Yeah, and then the guy decided to take a nap while he was yeah, some fixing people to be treated. Their actions before they take them. Yeah. That is an he, unfortunate reality. Yeah, he was uh, already being a jerk when he was in the cells. He was like, I don't care. I'm going to die anyways and all this other stuff. And... See, it's people like that you got to be afraid of. Yeah. It's those are the kind of people that that will do things that don't make any sense. Yeah. Uh. Oh, not bad from a second day, I guess. A lot of experience. <laughs> One go. Yeah. First day was a cakewalk. All we did is shoot it. We didn't shoot gators. We shoot shot at gators or whatever to practice. Uh, yeah, no shots. Yeah. Um I think Moxie said that something uh what was his name? Is there a, fe a fejo or something like that that works here? Not here. One of them's a surgeon general and her Who's husband it? is on the board of medicine. Let's see. Somebody I'm else that's really involved with that family in ways I do not wish to be, but <laughs> Well, there was somebody else that he said that liked doing the combat training, and so he was going to leave that. Oh, okay. Yeah, then it was him. Yeah, no, Apollo's great. He's he's good at teaching people. Yeah, I haven't met him as yet, so. He's very nice. You'll be lucky to meet him. Big Russian fellow. I think he's Russian. <laughs> I met, I met Abelius. And of course, Piper. Who? Uh, Carlos Alvarez. Oh, him! I met him briefly the other day. He was nice. Yeah. And like then, I said, uh, I I was on medical leave for a very long time, so there's there's some new faces around. Mhm. Mm but. Okay, so all I have to do is uh look at my training list what i need done right and then i can mm -hmm. find out what's left yep. see, let me it, take a it should be on the your tom card and i'm still listening to you i'm just i gotta make myself some notes Oh, okay. That's basically uh, stuff I did today. It's just nobody can sign off on it. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, no big deal. Uh, it's all right. I'm in no hurry. Yeah. You'll get it. Yeah, let me check the telegrams. Oh, yeah. I guess that is a thing I need to do sometimes. Got a horrible sense of time, so I will I will just forget those. Yeah. Uh there was nothing there. Just everybody clocking out. Oh, yeah. Sheriff's department up anything interesting? Uh so I really those to see if we're gonna be getting people. Oh, for real? No, I didn't look. Yeah, if I can read them, I read them. No. Nothing of sort. Alright. So, uh, how long have you been here at the... been working here? Well, I got the job back in early March. Mm -hmm. And then I got very sick. 
and then I got better, and then I got worse. And then I just came back about a week ago. Two weeks. Oh. Yeah. But I'm alive. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope it continues that, that way. One day after the next. Yep. How'd you end up getting this job? Or choosing it or what have you? Uh, let's say, well, it, back in July, I committed a crime. I Did I already tell you? You, you did. Okay. Well, I wouldn't be uh, working here if I judged everybody I met. Yeah, well, I'll give you a rundown of that. Well, somebody was gunning after some some people, and the, uh, the sheriff's department wanted me to let them handle it. But the guy was going after uh, uh, the people the next day, and so I was like, you know, if I wait around for them, these people are going to be like tormented held for ransom and all kinds of other stuff because this guy was like bad news so I shot him down in front of the sheriff's department and that was uh, back in July last year and then um, served my time got out and then uh, I did some, something stupid because I didn't know what to do uh, in September I did a store robbery and then since then um, uh, you know Lieutenant Deputy uh, Marilee Holland not familiar. Okay, well, uh, she got injured by one of my friends, uh, 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 the other person that was doing the crime and the robbery. She got away, but she left Marilee Holland and, uh, with a pack of wolves to fend, fend off for herself, and she got pretty torn up pretty bad. Oh. And so I kind of tried to make amends with, with uh, John Reed and... Uh, Holland and they said, "All right, just don't do any crime since." So I haven't. And in the fallout of all that, uh, a lot of our friends just kind of like disowned me. Kind of, you know, they didn't want to be around me okay. because I was a known criminal and all this other stuff. So they didn't want me around. Hell, two of my f uh, two of my best friends didn't even invite me to their wedding. So, because of that. Sorry. Nah, it's all right. It's all in the past. And then, um, so, after the, I, I held an event, the tournament that I was speaking about earlier. Um, that was back in November. And then, like, I went back home for about two or three months. My voice is relaxing. <laughs> And then, like, I took a break, right? And I came back in February, and I was looking for something new, something uh, different out of the ordinary. I mean, something I don't normally do. I'm just an ordinary businessman, you know, civilian, right? But I wanted more, I guess you can say, um, on top of what I was doing. And I couldn't become a bounty hunter. I couldn't become a sheriff. I mean, a deputy or anything like that because of my record. But after speaking to several people, they recommended me, well, if you're interested in doing something like that, why don't you try to become a watchman, a prison guard for the Cisco? I was like, oh. And then they also mentioned that uh, something about a clean slate program. I was like, oh. So I did both. Uh, the clean slate program is still in the works. The judge has to go through all the paperwork and approve it before getting the clean slate. But nonetheless, I did get the job here so far. Yeah. Well, uh, not officially yet. But. You should probably know that this prison has hired people who have done much worse and have repented much less. So, don't trip over yourself. I think you'll do just fine. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. So, in a lot of way, I guess uh, doing this kind of 
felt like I lost my uh my honor, you know. My uh little self respect when I committed crimes, so I was just trying to regain that honor, so to speak. And this is one way that I'm doing it. I'm trying to prove to myself that I'm not the guy I used to be. Cannot change the past, but you can. Repent and do better. Yeah. That's what I'm learning. Right. So. Only tomorrow. Well. I think we should be glad to have you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and uh, Friday was when I learned that there was, I wasn't the only one putting in applications trying to get hired here. And that's when I met Piper and I met another fella. And that's when I met Alvarez. He was just recently hired like five days prior to Friday. And that's it. I think it's just us four. Yeah, it could be I more. I originally applied to be a deputy, but I ended up here, and I think that was a very good choice. Yeah. Well, on top of that, uh, remember the one of those good friends I was telling you about? I reached yeah. out to him saying that I got hired over here, and he's actually speaking to me now. Well, that's good. Yeah. Although it's, I don't know, still don't seem right to give up on somebody so fast. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, people move on and stuff, right? I understand that. At first, it, it, I, had, I did hold the grudge at first, but after all, and then I guess after the, when I went back home, I just let everything go. You know? Yeah, it's... I don't know. Oh. Good night. Oh. Sorry about that. No, you're fine. <laughs> Let's see if we've got anything. Okay. I'll tell you something. The wrong keys. Saying it is going to make it no longer true, but uh -huh. almost without fail, if I'm clocked on and it's it's just me or just me and another person, absolutely nothing will happen. Um, so. I suppose it depends on what you mean by nothing or anything. Well, I guess, but it's usually not a lot due on the transports and the like. I guess I do have a coat. I think I left it in the other office though.
So y'all aren't expecting to have to cart anyone new in here today. Mm, probably not. Uh, there was a lot of people that came in earlier, but most of them went to bed. Yeah. Right. So I doubt any of them are going to be waking up anytime soon. So yeah, you're pretty much the only person. Yeah, some days there's much news from outside and others not at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, are you hungry or anything? Uh, I'm alright. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. well, I don't think I ever sent that. could always take some food for... Save it for later if you have something. Yeah, sure. I got some beef jerky. You like beef jerky? Sure. I'll take that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go all the way back to Strawberry? I sure. Said it. Would love that. Oh. <laughs> if I could have been you with, if not just to have someone else to talk to. No offense. There you go. Do you want to come? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. What's the matter, in Strawberry? I don't know. In custody. Well, so perhaps it is worth sitting around seeing who it is. Yeah, uh, I guess you could. Um. Oh, by the way, my name is Muddy Rivers. I don't believe we ever met. Pleasure to be. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Rivers. My name's Henry. Henry T. But you probably already knew that. Uh, no. Actually, I didn't. I was told about you. That's about it. Oh, fair enough. Nothing, nothing well, bad or anything. I'm not sure how my rumors had gone around. One can never tell in this. Sometimes a rumor will stay secret and other times it... It goes a long way, very clear. I suppose that is how stories work. <laughs> All right, Strawberry. I think right. we'll have the guy when we get there. Yeah, if you need anything when we come back or any visitors, just let us know when we come back. All right. Mm, all right. Yeah, all right, safe. Uh huh. Oh, we'll try. Is it still? Locked down that I cannot exit. Unfortunately, uh, it is. All right. Somebody try to kill somebody else. Yeah, it's understandable. Are you all right? Just taking the mariner over to um, Blackwater. Hey, I have no problems with it. Okay, because otherwise it's going to take... <laughs> Kill the captain. <laughs> Kill the captain. Dude, uh... Okay, out of character? Well, yeah, I don't know, because it's meta. So yeah, we'll, we'll skip over to Blackwater. Uh, I found out. And... I found out that it's muddy that there's somebody talking. Someone's an informant. <laughs> And, and that's only because I overheard Triss uh, Chamberlain say it. <laughs> oh, shit. What's she say? Blackwater, right? She said Blackwater, right? Oh, God. I hope... Uh, I hope I went to the right spot. If not, I'm going to have to pick the other three. Oh, God, she's not here. Oh, there uh, she is. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get a coach in town, but then we will drive back to Copperhead. Oh, okay. Sounds good. That's always what I've done. Cuts 
respect the travel time for those of us who travel enough as it is. What's with all the horses? It's a sheriff's office. There's two over there, there's four over there. Uh, there's... This town's busy when I don't expect it to be, so... <laughs> Yeah. So I think there I was have a very skewed impression of where people are because I'm all over somewhere. Somebody has recently committed a crime and gotten arrested for it. You know, it's funny. When I'm a uh, before I became a prison guard, right? Every time I would head west on, in the state, I find out that everybody's east, and then when I would go east, everybody's west. So I could, I would never win. Yeah. <laughs> I have bad luck finding people. Especially people I'm trying to meet. <laughs> I mean, I made appointments that people apparently didn't feel the need to keep for a week straight. Yeah. I imagine you'll learn pretty quickly, but... I have a lot of opinions. Don't take them as gospel. Oh, no. It's a good conversation, to tell you the truth. I just... I don't know. I don't want to color people's opinions of people they haven't met, but I have definitely had interactions with anyway. lots of people, uh. and I have opinions. <laughs> well, um, that makes you an individual. That's it. No big deal. <laughs> Oh, if I remember correctly, the fellow with the wagons is around back. Oh. I'm talking out loud. Thinking out loud. One of them. The sky is pretty out here. It sure is. There it is. Right, the wagon comes over here somewhere, right? Kill the captain. I ain't afraid to shoot a little fuck. Where'd she go? Wait, did she like disconnect or did she? Oh, I was waiting on the other end. Oh, I was trying to figure out where you disappeared to. Yeah, I thought that I thought he would take the wagon in the front of the barn or something. Oh, no, he'll take it to wherever I ask him to. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, the captain's really... He's gonna oh, kill off God. everybody. <laughs> he's killing off everybody. Another reason that I don't like to, uh... Oh. Oh. You can have those back. Sorry. I was forget about that. Um... But I don't really like to have to drive a team of horses all the way across the state is that I don't drive very fast. I don't, I can ride fast, but um, first time I drove a wagon was in this job, so. <laughs> yeah, no, take your time. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, that's, that's always what I've thought. And I've seen people Cause some very impressive crashes by being reckless, so, um... Some of our superiors get a little antsy with me doing that, but... I've never had a problem. <laughs> never run into huh. anything, either. Pardon me, D.O.P. Coming through.
Yeah, a little background. Oh, and I'll show you. There's a weird. Oh, there's a turn oh. that you can take before you actually get into Strawberry. Um, that'll take you around town, so you'll be facing the right way when you pick people up, so you don't have to make that turn. Yeah. Dallas so, did. That, that scares me. Um, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, like, no, I meant to go the other the other way, like. To come through where the sheriff's office is, and then I always end up on the south side of town. <laughs> yeah, no, there's there's a, a turn that you take before you get into town. Um, well, I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we have to take the longer way to get there, anyways, because this wagon won't fit through the other road. Um, okay. Okay. So we'll be coming from the south side so um dallas's whole prerogative like he wants to survive but uh captain is really making it hard we had all signed like uh waivers of our citizenship in new alexandria and dallas was already making plans with Calyx born to find those papers so we can burn them and I really feel like those papers are going to come into play but unfortunately I hate this Alex bridge has, I can't tell you what went on or anything with that but let's just say that he's not playing right on the server now. And I'll take lead on the transport because I, um, I can't train you, so it doesn't right. exactly make sense for you to do it because I can't check it off. But you know, it's it's pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, I'm sure so, you've yeah. been there for some successful transports. Uh, actually, earlier was my first one. Okay. Well, you'll see another one. Um, I'm sure our handbook is. I promise I read it at some point, but, um, I'm sure it's pretty good with Yeah, Dallas wanted to, uh, to make plans really to just the, the, steal the those papers is, and burn them up uh, so they have no proof that we committed treason. But now that he's gone, it won't be able to happen. Area. You know, keep an eye out for things, be aware and, of your surroundings. Unless Dallas Standard. brings it up uh, to Ricky. And maybe Ricky and, then and when you Dallas take custody can pull of off. the prisoner from the sheriff's office, you have to say that out loud that you are taking custody. Um, because it changes who has legal authority in the situation. Okay. Um, once a prisoner is under our control, the transport is our jurisdiction. Uh huh. Um, which means that no matter how much they complain, deputies are no longer in charge. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. That makes sense. It's... It's really just got to do with... I mean, we... we Sisica is our jurisdiction. This is the turn. Um, oh, wagon, okay. But it yeah. is... It is a wagon route. Um, so you come up here... So pretty much you'll be coming in the town from north from the north side, so you can just go straight south. Because I doubt Mrs. Steele will ever give those papers up on, out of free will. Because if she goes down to the, you know, if Captain goes down, she wants everybody to go down. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know for sure. Would you like to drive back? I'm happy to, but if you want. Uh, ah, I don't mind. Uh, okay. we're going back to Blackwater, and then... We're going to, uh... Oh, oh yeah, uh... Copperhead. Copperhead, that's right, that's right. In fact, I have to... Look for it on my map, whenever we leave. I'll drive, if you don't mind, then. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But just because of that, 
Dallas, I mean, I'm not going to stop playing Dallas, right? So if he, I mean, if he gets caught and he has to face the rope, right. that's no that's, big deal. That's really convenient for us. I'll play it out, you know what I mean? But I would really, careful. I would really like to be able to have Dallas, like, survive the encounter. So just keep an eye out towards the town and north of us um, while we're doing this, okay? Okay. You mean up there? Up there Every on those direction. hills? Oh, okay. Every direction. Just keep an eye out. Okay. Department of Prisons. Hey, I'm on the way. I'm I need to go up to the stairs and just go up quick and then uh, I can take them. Okay. Come in. Uh, and that'll wait for a second. Oh, okay. That big door for me and his face is. Just hold it. I mean, don't point it at oh. anybody unless you have to, but you know. Okay, okay. Thank you. No um, problem. All right, just take a do me a favor and just sit down where you were before. Um, do y'all need his information and everything? I sure do. Oh, apologies. Um, no problem. Just let me know what, uh, when to start. Y'all need his charges and uh, his everything, right? Um, I need his name first. Uh, it's Tad Cameron, um, but it's spelled T-A-D-H-G is his first name. And Cameron, normal spelling, C-A-M-E-R-O-N. Okay. Perfect. Never heard of this okay. guy before. Must be new. New character. How long are we taking him for? Uh, you will be taking him away for a total of one moment of since he's been here, a uh, hundred and seventy-five months. It originally was two ten or two oh five, but I knocked it down for turning himself in and his good behavior in here. Perfectly fair. Yeah. All right, I've got his name and how long we're taking him for. Do you need his charges oh. or anything? If you feel like they're important. Oh, it's but... just, I mean, all the other DOPs have asked me for the charges. I didn't know if y'all, if oh. that was standard for y'all. Not when I was trained, but. <laughs> it's up to y'all. I mean, it's up to y'all. They're. Sure. Um, just aggravated assault, unlawful escape, and family obstruction. Okay. Good to know. Alright. That's everything, so he is uh he's all yours now. Alright. So we are taking custody. Yep. Uh do you want me to send a telegram for y'all? Uh yes please, if you don't mind. Okay. Alright, Mr. Cameron. You'll be coming with us. Alright. Would you like to search me? Yes, I will have to search you. Alright. All right. And then if you could put your hands behind your back, I'll just be tying them. All right. Now, if you can just walk in front of me out to that coach and hop in the back. Bye, Creedy. Oh. See you later, Cameron. Have um, a good evening. Yep, telegram's been sent for you. Thank you. All right, back thank you. Uh, 
Can you hold your hands up for me? All right, no trouble, Will. You too. Right, Mr. Deppley. Oh, that's right. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm coming back. It's okay. Back. Okay. Sorry, right. just a lot going on, man. Just come on over to the office. Sorry, I hopped across. No worries, just getting around you. Oh, just... How about that? Just didn't want to be rude, Mr. Deputy. Okay. And Mr. Cameron, as I'm sure you're aware, but I, uh, I will tell you again. Um, if you make any attempts to escape or uh, otherwise impede our transport of you to the island. We are authorized to use any force necessary to bring you with us, up to and including lethal force, so. Alright. Please don't do anything. I've done enough running around today. Alright, T.O.P. coming through. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have introduced myself. I'm Meredith Connolly. Hi there. What did Teos do? Uh, felony of obstruction. Uh. Other than the obvious, how's your day going? Um, you know, it's been I a already forgot it. One. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I recent. Oh, um, shite. Um. If yes. I snap back here, am I gonna stand up? I I'm just I feeling no really idea. hungry, and I feel like I might. I will uh... slow down. All oh, right, um, perfect. Thank just you. So you don't drop anything. See, felony of obstruction. Well, not. That perfect. Is, that is good and there was two more other. <laughs> it is. Um, Thanks. Let me look. You know, recently part. I I dealt with one of them. Uh, I dealt with a robbery where. Uh, I put stuff on my horse, and then the next time I looked at my horse, um, all the stuff that I put on it was gone. So, you I've sure been recently... Oh, I'm, I'm positive. I, I checked the stable man multiple times, and, you know, huh. checked, tried everything I could, but most of the, um, you know, my main sidearm, my Lamat, and some other t miscellaneous things got, uh, robbed of me. Oh, she didn't so put it in the report yet. I've been trying to, um... You know, make some, uh, get some of my possessions back. So, um, I recently did an order with Mr. Nathan Burke, so he's making me a new knife, because I didn't just want a standard, you know, hunting knife from the, uh, general store, or a uh, hunting store, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I imagine that, that this may or may not deter you, but, um, I think he, at least his wife, and perhaps he has currently has a warrant out for. Nathan for, does uh, not. Um, okay, maybe it's Iris just his wife, d though. does. Okay, we came all the way up here, uh, not too long ago, uh, with the intent to transport her, and she was not here. So. I. I can't say I'm too fond uh, of. Eyes wolves. They don't like all the noise that this makes. Oh, okay. They'll clear Get off. away from us. Yeah, now they get real spooked by all the rattling. But I, um, so a lot of my day has been, you know, uh, making some money, um, then oh. going to the gun shop and getting some work done on my shotgun and giving Nathan some uh, ideas in terms of the knife he's making for me. Well, that sounds interesting. So, what was he charged with? Um, assault, unlawful escape, and um, I, an obstruction of justice. I don't know what that means, though. I will be completely honest. They throw that on there uh, most of the time. I think it's, it's because I ran, and because of that, I wasted the deputy's time. That's what it is. It's. There I you wasted. Go. That's what time. you do. In my wholly unqualified legal opinion, I think it's a bullshit charge, but that's... Seems like the rest of it was enough already. 
Um, I was, you know, I got arrested for an unrelated incident, and then Iris was in the other cell, and oh, they happened you were to break in out. Chat. Indeed, they happened to break out, and this is the I second was. second time I've been up to Strawberry to get you, Ben. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I was, uh, I was kind that. of, I got given the choice to stay or leave because, again, I wasn't really affiliated with them. But afterwards, I turned myself in because I felt bad. I appreciate it, although I, I have to be a little bit upset that you did not stay That's in the first fine. place. That's fine. I know it was. I, I think it was a daft idea as well. I should have just stayed in the cell like a good boy. I could have been out and free by now, but I didn't. I saw the light and I went for it like a moth to a flame. And, you know, I'm reaping the consequences for it. So, afterwards, I stayed outside of town for about an hour and a half and I just kind of contemplated. And I realized, well, I think now is a good time to just turn myself in. Well. I feel it like isn't it'll human help me to in test the long our run. What was Iris in for? Because the first time I met her, she was in prison for a very long time. Um, did you say what she do? Yeah. Um, this she time. went on a spring of store robberies, it seems. And apparently she huh. went on a, a boat ride with Mr. McPickle. Huh. I'm not entirely sure the context. All I know is that Mr. McPickle uh, chased after him after a store robbery, and then he woke up at Bacchus, after some sort of boat ride, he was all wet. Huh. Yeah, I... And now, I have seen her quite often, 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 which in, in my line of work is not a good thing. The OP coming through. Jesus. Well, maybe Rather it's people you don't work. see very often are the ones you need to worry about. The smart ones. <laughs> I, well, the smart ones I don't have to deal with. I no guess. I, mm -hmm. I understand. Didn't, didn't mean to apply that. No, no, you're fine. Like I said, I was a wee bit of a bee today. Well, only thing to do is repent and live tomorrow. Yeah, plus your time goes by fast. Um, well. You know, I'm gonna be in there for a fucking while. Oh, I was in there for 160 pretty, months. Pretty light, <laughs> uh, well, it's still, you know, it's still a long time. It is. I'm not gonna Lots take it to lightly. Um, I'm glad to and, hear that. I've had a lot of people who seem uh, unconcerned with the hours of their lives looking no, like. No, I've spent years in prison before. It's not very nice. Perhaps you'll think twice before doing the next thing. In this way, once I get out, you know, I was kind of scared because when when I left, I was real pat. Like when I left the sheriff's office, I didn't take my gun belt, so I was riding around with none of my guns, and I heard wolves at one point, and I was just like, "Shite! Like this is not good." <laughs> yeah. Yep. So that was the one selfish reason that I turned myself in. Everyone's got one selfish reason for doing any selfless act. You know what? I I think we're allowed that. Alright, we're okay. I hope we're okay. Yeah, I just you... rode on by. There we oh, go. you were Pull talking about the, the others. Oh. Yeah. So you've already adopted the uh, Watchman paranoia. Uh, I wouldn't even call it paranoia. It's just... I'm just making fun of you. Don't worry about it. Oh, I say diligence. Diligence uh, is one of my favorite words. You're diligent. I'm just. Uh, if you ever do a transport with, with Moxie, you'll notice it. I, I'm a little slow to tell you the truth when it I comes to jokes. <laughs> I did. He came into my pub. He's, oh, your he's pub. Decent man. What kind of pub you got? What's it called? Um, 
Well, I've been all around. You know, I did work in Blackwater for a while at a place called the Laugh and Kraken. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that, I was opening up my own pub. It was called Teague's Tavern. And then I got uh, hired as a bartender in Van Horn for a while, but that recently fell through. So I might mm. go back to opening up my own tavern. I think that's a good idea. I was working at a cattail pond for a while. If there's one thing that there will always be a demand for, liquor is definitely one. Yeah, that's where I used to go to brew my whiskey. Oh, cattail? It's beautiful down Yeah. There. Yeah. Nice place. Um, I've ever been. It's, it's nice and rustic, like some of the others, you know, the one at Manzanita, the speakeasy there. Um, it's yeah, like I'm real, familiar. oh, it's real like ornate. And there's lots of like chandeliers and paintings on the ceiling. It's very kind of pretentious. So <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that one. Um, but the one at Cattail, it's kind of got an Irish pub kind of aesthetic and it fits me. Mm -hmm. I'm not much of a drinker, but that does sound intriguing, at least. But I, I think I might go back to opening up my own pub instead of uh, working with other people. Make more it's money. Yeah, it's sure. easier that way. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, be your own boss, right? Turn yourself in. Do you mind turning yourself in closer to the docks? Yes, <laughs> please do. Actually, why didn't you just go don't to do Blackwater? Anything because I don't want to take a boat all the way to Blackwater. I see. Yeah, it takes forever. We've, we've got a whole system. It's... I promise it makes sense to somebody. Oh god, I hate it when it's foggy. What is this place? Oh, we I are going oh, to I see. Copperhead. I see. I didn't know there was a dock here. There is. It's, I've rode back my past here a million it's the times. Closest. Oh, no. Oh. I don't like fog. And I don't like crossing train tracks, but. Is, is, is there. Um. What was I gonna say? I'm not sure. It's not a very nice dock, but it is the closest dock. So. Oh shush, they're more afraid of you than they are. I really wish they'd put a road in here. Yeah. It's just so funny. What? I realized it right after I said it. Oh. <laughs> from the wagon step down please all right let's come over here like he eats well. 
sure he does. Let's see, and you are going for 175. I drive slow, I'm not going to 160. And we will be right behind you on the boat. Alright. Let me, uh, you can head over with him. Let me talk to the stable man. What we got here is a failure to communicate. Well, let me get some water going. But he's the type of guy that locks close to the door. Then locks Everything all right? Hi, hi. I'm just making, you know, acquaintance with some of me fellow inmates. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna check telegrams. Op. How do you spell her name? you send a telegram to him, Rebecca? Uh, yes, I did. Perfect, thank you. Oh. Harper somewhere. Oh, I'd have been in the tower, I guess. Oh. Who's that? Gail Harper, probably. Addy? Did the transports go well? Yeah. It did. It was uneventful. That's the fellow over there. Yes, yeah. sir. Hmm. He Good. doesn't really seem like trouble. He's a fucking bartender, as I understand. What'd he do? Uh, a bartender broke out of prison. Although he didn't really break out of prison. He was around when other people were breaking out of prison. Never yeah. Himself in because he felt bad. Decent. Ish. Hi there. Is this the man that lets me send the letters? Uh, it is. Postman, yeah. Oh, right. Hello there, Mr. Postman. Do you have some paper and a 
pen for me or pencil or he something? He does. He's got a whole stack. Alright, I'm gonna be up in the tower. Gotta use the bathroom. No lettuce once again. Gotta go to the El Baño. Alright. What is Marie gonna do? Mm, nah, 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 nah. You don't have the cigarette. Where's the cigarette one? There, we'll just do that for a second. There we go. Alright, why isn't my... Alright, give me a moment. Play some music. Alright, bear back. Okay, I'm back.
at night. Anything lay away. Oh. Rig station. I guess the sheriff's around. I don't know. Wait, what was that? What are they doing? Read his shot. Oh. I wonder if they get any friendly with each other. Captain Gail Harper. That'd be strange if they did. Like, they're still the best of friends or something, right? Uh, let's try something different. About this one. How's that look? Ooh, can't see camera being. Yeah, that looks kind of stupid. I'm gonna have to figure out a, a better pose than that. In a wall, lean right. Now it's just too real. Isn't it? Let's see, I've been streaming for about five hours. I'll probably clock out here in a little. In fact, I probably will. Oh. Hi. Hello. Um, I'm gonna go. Uh, probably clock off uh, for today. That is what we were both gonna do when you were. We came back down. Oh, so, okay. Um, do you want any coffee or tea? I just made some. Uh, yeah, I'll take some coffee. Here. Uh, All right, well, I'll go hand out. 
hot drinks and then clock off. All right. Do 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 do. Uh. Some friends and I in a public house were playing dominoes one night. Into the room, the barman came, his face all chalky white. What's up, says Brown? Have you seen a ghost? Have you seen your aunt Mariah? <laughs> you know, you can't sing. Irish people can always sing pretty good. All right. Let me clock off. I'm done for today. Uh. Where's it at? I know I always have to scroll down to the bottom. Dude, look how many watch from that. Hello, hey. I'm guessing that's part of my prison's training needed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, clock out. Some hotel. I have you see it was a pleasant night. All right, you too. All right. Some telegram. Fucking up. Yeah, we're we'll calling it now. There we go. Everything all right? Yeah, just taking my time, that's all. Oh, okay. jacket off. Oh yeah, they said take off the belt buckle, right? I have to walk all the way to my horse. I 
of wish there was like a stable here or something. A little bit closer. I can walk all the way to Bug Puck Egypt. BFE. Ugh, excuse me. I don't think I need to check my telegrams. I didn't need to change my clothes. Their hour is closed. Been sweating balls in it all day. <laughs> could go collect my paycheck but I bet it's not gonna be <laughs> much of a paycheck I think I'll work like maybe what six hours at the most so it's like sixty dollars I'm gonna let that check build up I'm hoping that by the time I, col uh, I collect my check it's gonna be like over five hundred dollars you know what I mean just throw that stuff in the bank Let me get a hold of a egg, Egan. Leap it, boom. So I had to use this gun t once today. Normally you don't use it. So we're doing the regular old traveling salesman. down come on all right put that up oh that doesn't go there I hate that the rope 
goes there, the gun goes there, pipe goes up here, this goes there, those go there. There. Yeah. I'm gonna see if Hagen's still awake. If he's not awake, then I'll call it a night. I wanna see if he uh, found any any employees that would be interested. Out of here. All right, public. Uh, 
go just gotta three eight eight nine zero address book add contact three eight eight nine zero I don't already have them here, right? Oh, let's see. All right, send the telegram. If so, <coughs> did you happen to hire mm, no. anyone? Intrigue. Are you still awake? If so, did you happen to hire? There we go. Lake Waters. we'll wait a while wait a few minutes well there was a lot of action at the beginning of the stream that's for sure but now for the past what hour and a half it's been nonetheless another day So what I plan to do tomorrow is, um, see, tomorrow's Thursday, right? I think Thursday I'll be playing as Dallas Cobb on Ignite RP. Um, trying to, after buying that trailer, he has like maybe $500 left. So I'm trying to bring up, uh, Earn some more money. Since he has that meth, he can uh, sell some baggies and stuff. And then um, Friday is when I'll get back on Muddy Rivers. We'll do another prison guard for, as him. I'll get back on shift. Maybe we can do some more training. Get that done. And then um, Saturday, I'll probably play as Dallas Cobb on Wild West Roleplay. Now, tomorrow's kind of like up in the air. But definitely Friday, it's going to be muddy. And Saturday, it's going to be Dallas on Wild West Roleplay for them both. So, yeah. Alright, who's that guy?
Howdy. Howdy. And I think when I play Saturday as Dallas Cobb on Wild West uh, roleplay, I'm going to probably try to come in contact with um, Kowalski. Or is it Kowalski? Kowalski, right? I think that's his name. Or if not, I'm just going to leave a note and just tell him, hey, thanks for letting me stay at the cabin. I appreciate it. Just a good... It's a good place, uh, you know, just tell them, hey, the cabin's yours, you know what I mean? So, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with Dallas, to tell you the truth, because I want him to survive, but the, there's a push going to do this prison break, uh, prison break, and <sighs> Dallas is thinking Captain's not worth it. Captain got him in got himself into some shit and he's gonna have to live with it he don't give a fuck you know what i mean that's like the death penalty or whatever or life in prison dallas on the other hand wants to like survive go break banks <laughs> Uh, do some store robberies, things like that. And besides, uh, Captain kind of insulted us just the other day. <laughs> he was like, fuck this, I'm out. See you later. Spend your time in jail. Don't give a shit about him. <laughs> but that's Dallas, though. I mean, it had nothing to do with out of character. Fuck this. Trying to help the guy out. Yeah. All he can say is, Oh, well, I want your hands touching me. Uh, hello, Dallas prefers women, but he's a medic at heart, you know? That's what he does. He helps people to get them restored to full health, full strength. Alright, let's see if Egan, uh, has responded to my telegram. Stewart. Stewart. Egan Stewart. He probably went to bed. So I guess I'm going to do the same. I'm not going to wait around forever for the guy. We'll find out Friday. I don't know. We'll find out Friday. I'm gonna call it a night, boys. I'm gonna feed him hay anyways. I got 18 pieces. I'm doing great. It reminds me, eventually, I'm gonna have to put a saddle on the uh, Black Hawk. Why am I going through this shit? I have no clue. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna play it off like I'm yeah, I'm going through all this cotton, see what it's like. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Yeah. Oh no, am I stuck? No, he's not stuck. Who knows, I might buy some cotton one day. <laughs> that was not intentional. I 
out of all the months I've been playing, right? A little over a year, I've never done that. That was fucking stupid. Right, let's play some music. And I will publish the VOD right after I finish stream. In case y'all want to rewind, look back, whatever the case may be. Clip anything. Sweet home. Sweet home. All right, let's see. What uh, should he be doing? I guess that's good enough. All right, guys, that's it for today. Um, well, you can expect Friday to come around uh, with Muddy Rivers, Saturday, Dallas Cobb, Wild West Roleplay. Tomorrow is still up in the air. It really depends on uh, how my day goes. You know, I might be busy all day. I don't know. But uh, definitely expect Friday. All right, guys. So in the meantime, I guess I'll be seeing y'all later. And don't forget, you can always check out my YouTube page. Uh, if you can't find any of my VODs, I upload my VODs to my YouTube page, put them in playlists for everybody to see. Even the ones from Ignite RP are there. So, yeah. So, um, all right. Y'all have yourselves a good night, and I'll see y'all when I see y'all. Laters.